<laughs> everyone welcome to another live stream and uh we're back to talk about shogun again Woohoo! Woo and J justin's not as into it because he just watched fallout and it's kind of like it's you know shiny new things uh replacing <laughs> shogun huh don't you mean fallout <laughs> that's so old <laughs> and last old week range. i give yeah. no shits no it's so yeah. uh yeah anyway it's it's a great an amazing year for entertainment we're we're really really lucky in 2024 we're getting such great stuff so anyway but to start mm -hmm. off uh we um you know it's usually and it's worked out this way it's usually me and justin and alicia or ak as we often call her uh, but we have been having rotating guests. And so tonight's rotating guest, our special guest is John A.U. Packmule is here to join us. And I always love having you, John. Thank you so much for joining us. Special guest. John, you want yeah, to say hello? Yeah, to be here. Oh, awesome. Okay. And uh, and if you guys don't know him, he does. I, John I does did. have a um, hello, YouTube everybody. channel. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey, John, I think, hold on. We, let me address this. John, I think you're on a delay. John, raise your hand up. Yeah. Raise your hand up. That's what it sounds like. John, could you raise your hand up? See that delay? He's on a big delay. Super here. time delay. Yeah. yeah. John, you're on a huge delay, brother. <laughs> How does that happen? Bad connection. Um, Bad connections. Okay. Um, I would say maybe possibly yeah, um, refresh. Sure. I've got a, I've got a one gig uh, service so. window. Mm -hmm. um yeah. hold on john that's okay we'll just have to wait we'll just have to wait for john to respond <laughs> well, have, well no, let's I think wait. It's refreshing. Oh, okay okay i and i okay well anyway we'll, we'll work with it we'll work with it so anyway but while sure. we're waiting for john to come back yeah thanks uh hey sarah i wanted to say hi to everybody we've got uh who's here in the chat yeah, who's sounds like hey we got Stephanie and Sarah Carl. Scott. we got stephanie fedrick that sounds like a fancy name katie dressed in pink What's it's natural on? selections okay. here. Natural selection. Natural selection. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I was loving Sarah's here. Carl's here. Sarah Rogers. But yeah, there's two Sarah. Sarah Scott. Okay. So uh, while we're waiting for John to come back, Alicia, why don't you tell everybody who you are and, and what you're doing here? <laughs> exactly. Hello. I, I, I am here because whenever our lady of the costumes sends out a raven and calls the banners, a, a, the AK will always show up. Um, I, I talk random nerd things with uh, my friends, these guys included that are on the screen with me. Um, you know, Marvel TV shows and movies, stuff like uh, Poker Face with Natasha Leon. We're, we're going to be doing Fallout Shelter pretty soon. You know, we always troll on those Westeros streets. So House of Dragon, we will be back doing it when that comes through. And um, yeah, that, that's uh, basically it. Uh, if you like talking nerd things, swing by my channel if you're bored. And uh, Alicia's wearing a, a, an amazing set of armor there. She uh, uh, she's got the full kit going on. John, are you it. John? Are you still on a delay? There he is. Am I? That's I, it, that's a good question. Like okay, it. let's do this. Hold on, everybody, stop. John, can you count with me? One. Still bad, huh? <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Two. One. Can you go with me? Two. Three. Three. We're pretty much there. One more time. We're getting One. there. One. Two. <laughs> Three. Got okay. We're good. I think yeah, we just got Danya status. Yep. Says Carl. I think okay. John, if you can hear me, tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have to yell louder? <laughs> no. Hey, I'm John. I'm uh, just a guy that uh, likes to watch you guys um, in the chat and got invited. So it's been awesome. It's been a good show. John, John's one of our friends. So um, and also he's a friend of the channel, but also a wonderful collaborator. He has his own uh, YouTube channel as well. Mm -hmm. And so he's always welcome. I always love having him here. So hopefully maybe uh, as the show goes on, we'll get better Internet. Hi, Vincent. Justin, what about you? Who are you and what are you doing here tonight? Um, who am I? That's to be just, I mean, I'm here. I'm here. I've, uh, I'm have i a little bit slowing down on the show. I didn't see the last episode, so I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet for a little bit of this as much as I can. I'd like to say that I'm a big fan of John. John, I've known since the beginning. And if I had to like take the world down to 10 people, you'd be in there, John. 
And I might. Aww. I might. That's a sweet thing for me to say. I know <laughs> that if I was going to have to kill everybody, you would not get killed. But I'm going to say it right now. I mean it. And uh, that you can hold me to that. So, yeah. So I'm happy to be here, too. And uh, Thanks, if we're talking brother. top 35 and all that, the rest of you may be. I appreciate happy. it. Good. Yeah. yeah, and if I was if there was a zombie apocalypse and I needed to go to the drugstore to <laughs> raid them of all of their narcotics so that I could uh, put us all to sleep, John, I would pick up extra for you and your family. <laughs> that just sounds like a Saturday night. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so that we could all, you know, uh, we could all like leave this uh, mortal yeah, coil I would have together. No, I would have no narcotics, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, you're not in that top 10 anymore. See you later, buddy. Yeah, no, I have to go to, I don't have any either. I have to go to the drugstore and and raid them uh, after the uh, zombie apocalypse the, is started. most dangerous place to go. That's why I keep telling you. I don't want to get into this Speaking again. of that, by the way, I have questions about uh, follow-up, but hopefully, uh, maybe we, we'll talk about that later. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right. So, but the show that we're talking about tonight is Shogun. And it's, it's like, actually, it's been like, there's been eight episodes where we only have two left, you know, they call it the penultimate episode, which John knows, I love that word. I hate that word. Um, and then also, uh, I'm going to go around. One of my main questions is, Justin sort of has brought this up. What, what do you guys think about the pacing of the show? Um, do you find it a little slow? Are you finding that the, the reveals are taking a little bit of time? Um, what are your thoughts on that? John, can you hear me okay? John, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I hear you great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Even John, what do, you, the what do you think? So, so uh, um, that's right. The pacing is, is going to be slow because you have um, English closed captions. And so you have to go as slow as you can write. Um, my wife was a mm -hmm. stenographer for 14 years. And when you're in court and you have to, you, there are people that can talk way faster than she can write. So you have to go slow. And even, the, even that being said, it's still a little slow. Slow. Uh, at times because the Japanese gestures, which is brought up in the after show, um, it, it's hard to pick up on. So you have to go very slow. Yeah. What do you think, Alicia? I, I think I, I know what you're saying, John. I mean, we're Western audiences. We are very, you know, we want things to happen quickly. Um, we're impatient and, um, um, so what do you think, Alicia? What is is John on the is John on the? Uh, I don't know what the expression is. I th I th I think so. I it there are parts that I think do seem overly slowed to us, but it it, it it's reading. You know, having to make sure we read the subtitles. That's a, that's a part of it. But to me, I think it also goes in with the culture that they have been excelling and completely showcasing in all the great ways here. Like they take the time to appreciate a simple rainstorm, just sitting on the porch out outside of the living room and looking at the Zen garden with, with the water trickling down and just being so ridiculously relaxing and awesome. They take the time to look at the, the, the little tiny fine tuning cracks in everything to appreciate and get the whole picture. So while it, I do agree that it is slow, I think it is all in the grand design of the show. And it, to me, it flows well. Hi, Mother Roin. If anybody else has joined, Hello, uh, welcome. Um, what about you? Jo oh, John has something to say. Or is he just saying hello? Uh, no, I was saying hi to Mother Roin. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mother Roin. Okay, that's nice. Um, what about you, Justin? Because you're mentioning, you, you know, sure. um, you didn't catch the last episode, but the, the the two before. Yeah. So let me, as a guy who hasn't watched the last episode, let me tell you that it's not going quick enough as a guy that hasn't seen the last episode. Um, Cause I think that's a very, you know, valiant thing to do. It's brave, but um, no, on a serious note. So with John, I do understand because the show, first off, it is written in Japanese and then it was translated to English. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it more has to do with what John's saying as the show, literally everything in the show that's happening has to be translated like to either Blackthorn or them. So there's a, like translation literally happening because there's this break in culture and all this. And also, and I've done a chart because I got this, I paid $10. I've been wanting to use this again. Oh, so this yes. is tea. This is pork and uh, You know, this is so he is pretty much biding for time. It's what he's been doing, right? He has walked over mm -hmm. the line. He has said the council is a bunch of bullshit. 
And now he's waiting to see what other people do. So like, not only it is going slow for a reason, cause he, he needs it to go slow. And as we saw, we'll talk about mm -hmm. with his son, he accepted, he accepted you know, dire, dire circumstances, circumstances and it benefited him to buy him some more time. He's needed time. And he keeps messing about doing certain things and hoping other people are going to come across that line for him. So my issue with it is it's a little bit confusing to be fair. I think that we're getting a lot of flashback stuff. I get a little bit confused with the situations. Um, and it is a little bit because I'm such a Western ignorant fella. Um, but I, I do think that now it seems like they're going full steam right at the, cause I did watch a lot of episode eight. I just haven't finished it. And it seems like now they're like the gun's been shot and they're like, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, so I think that like, I think the story could have been 18 episodes or maybe even 20, like, but I know they want to do, I think that it would have been slow, but I think when I say slow, I mean, it's, it's not consistent with its speed because we get a lot of episodes where we get a lot that happens are nothing that happens, but things that need to be disclosed, like with the families in the background, if that makes sense. I don't, I'm so loving the yeah. show. It's just, it is wearing on me a little bit though. Like it, 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 I started off the show being an eight and nine. It's at a six or seven for me now. It is. And that's oh, fine. okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So Justin, you haven't seen the last episode, but I I've wanted seen most to, of it. Yeah. okay. But what I wanted to say is that it, they've decided they've set up each episode so that a lot of the, the dialogue and everything happens. And then at the end we get, they drop that thing, you know, they drop that yeah. major in, inciting incident or whatever you want to call it. Right. Like, so how do you guys feel about that? So for instance, we don't even have to talk about yesterday's or Tuesday's show, but we can talk about the week before with Toronaga's son, um, you know, slipping and hitting his head on a rock, you know, while he's right. trying to avenge his father kind of thing or what have you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what were your thoughts on how they've been doing that? They have like all of the, the major sort of uh, the what the, the WTF moments, I suppose you could call them happening right at, at the end, near the end of the episode. What are your thoughts on that, John? Yeah, uh -oh, it's like Mother the, the uh, pillowing uh, scene. Um, yeah, the pillowing <laughs> at the tea house. It's like the cannon scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and um, and also the uh, cannon scene where they they the son shoots the cannon at the mm -hmm. enemy. Um, allegedly, all at of those messengers. are big WTFs. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> right, right. Clear. And um, one of the things that is so easy to fall asleep with uh, as far as these these um episodes is that tornago's got spies and he's trying to figure out who is the council's spies so it's really hard to to um understand why that you know as far as the piece goes going back to that um it's it's really hard to figure out who he's trusting and who he's not trusting yeah. Can I jump in here too? I do want to say that like with the sun, so we have a lot of situations here when we're getting context, meaning like we're seeing the reason in which people are acting in their ways later on. We're seeing though what happened to them in the past. We're seeing them win battles. We're seeing them lose battles. We're seeing them get discarded from their family. So then we're getting motive to understand after the fact. So we're, this is a, uh, and this is a, a series that is like a chess master series, meaning like uh, there's Tor Tornaga is like the chess master and he's always making moves. Mm -hmm. And then it's revealed about what he was thinking. So it's a little bit slow. Uh, my, my thought on the sun dying was like, I was like, why are they so surprised when he's like, why are you so eager to get in the battle? I go, excuse me. Like your whole culture is literally battle killing, doing Saboku at the minus Sudoku or Shapoku at the my like the, the the smallest little infringement like or like you know like uh bump in the road it's like but in your surprise you're surprised that this kid wants to go and prove himself you know what I mean like it's like literally all you talk about it's all you do but so there's a lot of like feeling people out like John said and all that and uh, I think that you know because of the language barrier and everything in the show actually has to be translated so Blackthorn can understand and they can understand Blackthorn. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's a nuanced show. It's a subtle nuanced show. Uh, but yeah, I, I found that odd. They're just like, why do you want to fight so bad? I'm like, why the hell do you think he wants to fight so bad? <laughs> like, what else do you guys yeah. like? What are you, well, what even, are you talking about? Like, even in this recent episode, which Justin hasn't seen, but the idea that um, you would ask your 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 uh, your men your to to basically sign away you know to say that you will you will go in you will you know surrender 
with your Lord, rather than, you know, I said to my husband, that's the worst possible outcome for a samurai. You know, they want to die in battle if possible. They don't want to be dying um, by like surrendering and then they have to commit seppuku anyway. Um, so they're going to die anyway, but they would rather die on the battlefield, I would think. So, um, but I mean, you know, most of this is, I think most people are, are watching this and going, hmm, you know, I, you know, like as Justin's saying, the fact that Tornaga is the master chess player, it's like, it, it kind of reminds me of a Sidney Sheldon type of uh, mini series, like Master of the Game or something like that. Whereas, you know, you've got this arc that's happening, but it is all the, all the pieces are being put into place. And then eventually we'll have the, you know, the reveal. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys feel that's sort of what <laughs> is being set up? Alicia, go I ahead, sir. He's, he's playing uh, not only 4D uh, chess. I know from Star Trek fans, y'all, y'all know what that game is. But also he, he's he's kind of a uh, Doran Martell playing Savas and trying to make his heir, who is Ariane, learn the game so she can properly learn strategy. After the last stunt this kid pulled and the reprimand that he got, he should have known better. Should anyone have been surprised that he wants to prove himself? No. The, the, the problem isn't that he wants to prove himself. The problem is how he's going about doing that. That has never been his father's way of doing things. And especially mm -hmm. after the freaking can cannon incident, that was not the plan. But he still flies off the cuff and gets it in his head that he can be the one to save the day. Like, bruh, your dad was never out here doing this stuff just for personal glory and to save the day. You're looking at the situation completely wrong. This is why he was so pissed at you before. You're not getting the lesson he's actually trying to teach you. And that just makes the whole situation so much worse. So I get it. I ab I absolutely get it. You know, he's tired of everybody looking at him like he's a snot nosed kid. But what do what do you do to to the new guy coming into the barracks? You you, you haze him a little bit. You, you tease him. You you try to get under his skin just to see what he's nice gonna bed. do. That's just that's just how it is. And and that's that that's not just their culture. That just spans across all cultures. That's just how it is. And he is just a little too wrapped up in wanting to come out of his father's shadow. That's what it seems to be his motivation. He said that, you know, he, he, he doesn't want people looking at him like he's just some spoiled little kid. Like, I can make these big decisions. I can save the day. But every time he's done that, kind of like Cersei, you're not as smart as you think you are, as Tywin said. It always backfires. And here it backfired in the worst way. All you had to do was sit there and eat your food. Your dad had a plan. All you, if y'all would have just chilled and followed with what this man was doing, we wouldn't have had the two deaths in these three episodes that we did. Can I yeah. counter that, Alicia, really quick? He, part sure. of being a chess master is now I, I agree with like eighty percent of what you're saying, but Toronaga has not expressed his plan explicitly to anybody. Like it, he's he's very much close to chess, so like he needs <laughs> to rein in that kid because like that is the problem with he's making all these moves. The reason mm -hmm. for the signing away is uh, what I what I talked about this, like it was almost good when the, the son, the idiot son, sorry, but I think he's a little bit of an idiot. He shot some people with a cannon, I'll say it. He is. And, yeah, and he is. I, I thought that was a good thing that happened because just the same with signing, when people are, you're trying to see where they're at, the best thing to do is make them disclose where they're at. Push them to action. Don't let people linger anymore. That sign the, of the whole like either surrender or fight, that's a pushing of action, pushing a motivation scene where people stand. He needs to know where people are at the board. The, he plays everything so close to chess, uh, to, to his chess. And we have this whole theme about fate in the show. Toronaga evidently won this war that the guy that he beat earlier, right, said that like I was fated to do this like win this this no win situation war, this like w war I could not win. And like, so there's this weird concept of fate which all cultures have it the gods have already you know mm -hmm. set the score the game will play it the best we can anyways so like there's a lot of like weird rationale for like why we're doing things like it's like for a greater good and a lot of things are very vague let's be clear like the sun is trying to make action in the most i agree, agree with you alicia the most dangerous person in the freaking street is the person that needs to prove themselves the person that feels inadequate mm -hmm. they're the one that'll pull a trigger they're the one that's going to stab somebody they're the one that's going to throw the fist because they're insecure and he feels insecure and 
his dad. Desperation, yeah. It, yeah, it's over there being all stoic, but maybe he needs to like, yeah. let some people in. <clears throat> I, I actually agree with Natural. I do think that, he, uh, John, I don't know what you think, that yeah. uh, Tokuna, uh, Toronaga, sorry, knew his son was going to act. Toka, what's his, Tokugawa? Is that the son? Oh, Nakagawa. Nakakado. Um, we, we've been calling him Baby Scorpion. Baby, yeah. What do you call him? Baby what? <laughs> baby Scorpion. Because baby in Mortal Scorpion. Kombat, we, we thought it was Sub Zero last time, but but the character yeah. he actually played was Scorpion. So um, even get that right. the baby one Scorpion. thing is about a master chess player is the master chess player knows what moves the other player will make, right? Exactly. So he this has been a through line as well. But there's one thing I just was re I remember is that when Tornaga was talking to his son, he basically said, "You can't trust anybody except for yourself," right? Yes. So. He, he can't tell anybody yeah. anything that he's plotting. He can't. There's no exactly. one he can trust. Anyone could be a spy. It, even if he has spies and he maybe suspects who the spies are, that that person could still be a double, you know, what they call it, a double agent. And then, mm -hmm. and then the other thing I was going to say is that um, regarding his son, I think he did know his son was going to act. And maybe he was even yeah. hoping his son would act. But the outcome was not what he was hoping for, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So no. maybe he thought he, 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 he kind of counted on the time though. You know, he, mm -hmm. he gets because of this, like they were about to leave the next morning, but because yeah. his son pulled this stunt and he ended up dying, that gave him an extra uh, over a month. I gave him 49 days of mourning yeah. before he would then have to leave. Yeah. Now had his son not done that and maybe done something else to where he didn't die. I think he would have just count twisted and moved and countered and did something else to buy him time. It just so happened that, this is what happened. So he had to he had to make use of that. And the same thing with uh the hand. I, I I'm sorry, yo. R.I.P. to Uncle Hand. No, I he was is, very he is with the hand. Go. Yeah, his his yeah. uh. I was right very hand sad hand. to see him go, but yeah. I get it. But again, this is what I was saying. All y'all had to do was sit there and eat your food. He's not trying to move you guys around the chessboard. He's looking at what everybody else is doing mm -hmm. and making his movements from there, especially his brother. I was not surprised one bit because I was looking side eye. One of my notes is, yo, you know, the Scorpion the second is moving kind of shifty. And I don't know if I like him that much because he's coming off a little too friendly. I think it's something that Justin has said last time is if you're being overly friendly, something's wrong there. My spidey oh, yeah. senses are tingling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in uh, Alicia, what? so that brother should have been gone from the get-go. This is just mm -hmm. dictatorship number one. Kill your brother. Kill mm -hmm. somebody close. This is get rid of all him. The, get rid of that. That shows you are not afraid to kill anybody. Uh, you know, Saddam did this. A lot of people do this. This is from the playbook. Do it. Get rid of, of him. Yep. And uh, but no, I, I, all jokes aside, no, no, all joke, that is what they do usually. Uh, but he should. I think he. I think I do agree with you guys. Like natural too. Like you're saying. Mm -hmm. I think he saw this coming. I, I think he again just like the cannonball thing. He's using this for his betterment and so forth. Uh, I, I think have. that's what we're dealing with oh there he is um um i was just talking to hex about how uh, we reconnected over a yeah, long time uh, we'll see hex. oh that's Good so nice to, to hear oh yeah. i'm so glad to hear that you guys i'm looking okay. forward to your videos on i said if anybody's yeah. gonna do a good video on fallout it's gonna be hex so uh, oh check for him sure out. yeah um y'all so, go check out hex's channel if you haven't before uh, so anyway so first off the fate thing so let's talk about like what he was trying to do he's trying to kill his uncle right and he thought he was going to be like all like cool by doing it that would have been like not respected the way he did if you did achieve it right like he he snuck up on him and he like tried to kill him and he fell on a rock and died just like the, he says yeah. at the beginning it's like a crossroad whatever the the metaphor is but yeah he died in death there is no beauty in it you know like it, like it's died like died ridiculously yeah. too. you died how people die poorly accident. like it wasn't even yeah. you, you had that man dead to rights he couldn't get up by himself you hit him with that quick shot and it put him down he yeah. was right there and it was just death by kimono by the way watching your yeah. footwork you got <laughs> up yeah. on the freaking okie doke you yeah, embarrassing they... little asshole by the way i was gonna say that was a great costume moment john he's laughing because it that was. is actually kiku's uh kimono and she's very mm -hmm. tall right and so he puts mm -hmm. that thing on and it's draping and, it's and then draping when he, goes, he runs 
it's draping everywhere. And of course it would have been silk. And so when he goes outside and it goes on the rocks, it would be just like Fine. slipping on ice. Yeah. And wasn't that for ceremony too? Like, so there was a reason for that outfit earlier, right? Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's a, it's a Kosode. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and, um, but, uh, uh <laughs> but I know that one, I think it's just a robe, an interior, like an interior robe she would have worn. It was just like a natural color. So he borrowed, yeah. he was borrowing it. Yeah, but you know we we can't act like like Tornaga isn't somebody that like uh, postures up and like you, we saw him with the fan, so it's easy for everybody to say, oh, just he's got a plan. Wait and see. Don't go seek your own fame and uh, notoriety because he's got it already. You know what I mean? He's over there with the fan. Everybody's cheering him, and so like it's hard for this kid. Like that's why I said the society is built on this warrior culture. This this Bushido oh, way, yeah, that's, this, that's yeah, not a question. It, it's crazy. Yeah, so like I guess I do agree right, with these thought coming, but but when they said the forty days, it there because you got to go to your kid's funeral. Did he mention he's not going to his kid's funeral? Because he did, he's not right. Like I don't think he went. He did it. They, they, no, they, they were no. Yeah, so exactly. like, it's like oh, you're gonna need forty <laughs> days because you're gonna go to your kid's funeral, and he's like, I'm not going. Uh, you're like, oh, I guess you don't need forty days, uh, John. Yeah. I before I'm gonna go to John next, but I okay. So there, there's a few things there. One, okay. So he likely predicted that his son was going to attempt to kill his brother. And so with that, it means what, what, what was he expecting the outcome would be? That either his son would be injured, which maybe would have delayed it, or he would have been killed. So maybe he did sort of plan on that. Well, second thing, yeah. Second thing is there's been just some discussion. Was his brother in on it? Like, you know, either does he, did he either know his brother would, would turn on him? Like, you know, just, uh, what is I it? A Benedict and Arnold, or did, is his brother actually in on it and working with him? So the, so those are a couple of things I'm going to throw at you, John. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this, uh, and I'll throw it back at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, would they have given him uh, another 49 days if his brother was killed by his son? I mean, yes. that's, that doesn't sound oh, good point. reasonable, right? I, either way. Mm -hmm. Not attending any of the funerals, let's be clear, but still need those days. You know, he, I, 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 we didn't say he, would have, he wouldn't have attended, but he still would have gotten that 49 days. Yeah, you probably get 60 if you go to the funeral. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's it, it's a family member. It doesn't have to be a next of kin. Is that what you're saying, John? It, we have to check that out. Yeah, either way, either way, I think the plan was we got to delay because we have uh, men to get in place. That's that's my mm -hmm. theory. Yeah, I, mean, I think it would we'll be see. ignorant of us to say that like he knows everything that's going to happen. Like he knows how to act and react to the things in a calculated way. So he I, he had to be you'd have to be stupid not to think that his brother could possibly the guy that's jealous of him make that move. You'd have to be stupid to think your son just shot a bunch of people with cannonballs wouldn't do something stupid. So he has to be prepared for these things. I don't want to give him this like god complex. It's like oh he knows everything. It's like that, that it's it's that storytelling trope. But he like, doesn't spies. Yeah, as, I know. As John was saying he does have spies out there, but you know, absolutely, I mean, he's I also think, yeah. he's also a master of dis of disguising where he's he is. A master tactician. Um, but, yeah. Okay, master tactician. Let me ask you guys. Sorry, what has he done that makes him a master tactician so far? What has he done that has yielded results? Give me two things. Well, look at look at his interactions with Angie. Um, mm -hmm. He's just made him who is should have been killed. Somebody that is he's he able to use the as the, their cannon master, their ship master, whatever you want to mm -hmm. use him for. Mm -hmm. He's very talented. So he's been able to use them. And he realized, you know, his son wasn't exactly the the uh, top shelf. No, he kept he, he <laughs> kept he kept him alive. Well, he kept him alive. Even like, down it's like even down to when you know the engine w first uh showed up with everybody you know he mm -hmm. was smart enough to have the hand go out there and step in and confiscate all that you know uncle shifty thought that he was absolutely going to be running shit he was going to just you know <laughs> ship all this stuff up to a shito and it was going to happen right. and, and now no uncle hand rolled up and said oh wait hold and on excuse me I, I thought i thought you were loyal to our lord mm -hmm. like this is his shit this ain't yours so i mean right. he, he was he, he was smart enough to see that and i think when you know when it yeah. came into placing marico in such a strategic location and, and you haven't seen all of uh, episode eight so i won't say exactly what's going on there but her and i do believe fuji remember i said when we first talked about it fuji is going to play a bigger part in this and we saw her training 
in this. So I feel like her and Mariko are going to be those those uh, sleeper agents that are sent there. Like Mariko has already been on the game, and he, you know, she she's getting her, her plot her plot piece. She has just now jumped up to like the second level of the chessboard. Again, 4D chess on Star Trek. Look it up if y'all don't know what that board looks like. She has just jumped up to a, another level because everything is really ramping up now, and it's falling into place. Yeah, so that's that's what I was asking. I, I think it misinterpreted me. What has yielded results? I think he's a smart guy. Clearly, he sees the value in engine. You could argue that it was clearly made that he doesn't actually have anything like to give them maybe a little bit with the canon stuff. But it's more political movement, and he is keeping. He has a smart eye for people. It's funny that he's going to Mariko, to, or to engine to to figure out about or to engine you know Blackthorn to figure out about Mariko now when he set Mariko to figure out about Blackthorn right. So like it's it, and what I'm saying is. I think he's smart. I think he's very clever. But well, you notice how she, you notice how he tested her, right? Yes, mm, exactly. I'm just saying he has not. You know how he tested That's what we're. That's what we're. He, that's what we're he is doing to. that with all of his people. Yeah, I, I'm saying none of this has yielded real results yet. Yes, he's kept Blackthorn around because and the, I'm, the game yeah. isn't over yet. I know, but I'm just saying we keep thinking well, this is some master plan. I'm not. I'm. I'm assuming it's going to be. But what yeah, Luna, we actually Luna said? said Luna said uh Turnaga's resignation from the council. That's where that it started. Was, that was a that was, was a the power first move. person to praise that. Yeah. Um he also has a sense of humor because he promised mm -hmm. uh, th that uh, he would put the he would give the Jesuits a church in Edo. And then he also promised the tea, the uh, the brothel exactly. that he would give them a tea house. And then he uh -huh. set them next to each other. By the way, my husband and I were like, sorry, it, that does not look like a very solid foundation <laughs> to be building. It's, a okay. it's, it's all like, it's water like low, tide. <laughs> low tide. Yeah. I'm like, this is a good spot to be building. Uh, Justin, you don't know that part because you haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, they're building the right. um, the whorehouses there. I know what you're talking about. But yeah, the, yeah. yeah. And next, okay. to, next to the church. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get it. He's like, ha, ha, ha. Have you guys um have you guys watched um the the man with the iron fist? Oh yeah, yeah, years oh, ago. Oh, Kung Fu movie. Okay, well, you remember Lucy Liu was like the head madam of the tea house in that town, and basically, yes, she had a successful um uh ladies of pleasure business, but on the flip side, they were all fucking assassins that had one hundred percent precision accuracy. In everything they were doing and and you know we had our tea lady come in and start spitting games as her uh scorpion saying hey you know oh, yeah. if you could like set these things up i mean I, I get that you think you're about to die i understand however if you could uh put some of these decrees into place to where that they'll still happen even if you die i guarantee you i could have my girls in their whole network that will be useful to you with it you can't see the value in it now but trust me and that's kind of, that that's almost what made me think that because he started coughing after that session with her and that mm -hmm. almost made me think like hold on did she put something in the incense beads that did that but there were other people in the room and nobody else is, is coughing like that so that kind of also made me think that is she in on it too because everybody is playing a part. And he said, like, once we got to near the end, like, you know, everything that I was doing had to be real. I had to make them look like I was actually surrendering and making sure that all of my guys knew they were not to do shit to stop this. Yeah. And yeah. it ended up playing out. So, like, it, it, it's a super long game. Like what Luna just said there, it's a super long game. So, no, not everything has, you know, sprouted flowers and, and blooms yet. But he's still laying the groundwork. The okie doke is coming yeah. in in these next. Our last episodes. final thing, and this is the last time I'm going to restate this. I think he's very clever. I think every I'm the first person that said the council leaving was the thing he had to do. He had to see. He had to make a move and see where people were at. I'm asking specifically, and I guarantee he's probably going to come out on top. People, by the way, but what what do we think is going to actually happen? What's this actionable plan? How is he going to beat these guys? What is going to happen? We keep talking about how smart he's. I know he's crimson smart. sky. Yeah. Okay. Oh, having the priests right next to the hookers. Yeah, that's perfect. No, no, no. Both, no, Crimson way, Sky no. is <laughs> Crimson Sky is is their is their tactic is their is their war plan. It's a that's what name. I want to know. Yeah. So what is it? it? It's the it's the, ne the name of the next episode. That's I think what the ultimate plan is. Yeah. It's, that's what I, was I asking. think. It's what where is where he becomes Shogun. Remember in the beginning he did yeah. not want to do anything with yeah. the Shogun era. He didn't want to bring that back. He was trying to rule in a more 
peaceful, like people oriented society. But right. you know, hard, hard times call, call for hard measures. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, we'll see. That's the thing. I don't think he will be king of the ashes. He's no. going to be yeah, no gun either. of these motherfuckers that will not take shit from anybody else because this is some bullshit that the Portuguese have started coming in here. And now the whole thing is blown wide open and it's gotten so much bigger. They have to take this action. And, and for a character like him that first episode we saw him, he does not want war. He does not want more senseless bloodshed. However, modern problems deserve modern solutions. So if we got to bring back the Shogun and go fist the cuff and slice a couple throats, well, that's just what we got to do. Yeah, I agree. I just can't for the life of me think, and I'm just trying to figure it out on real note about how technically he's going to overcome them. Like he seems to be outgunned. I know he's going to, by the way, this should be clear chat. I'm not an idiot. This, I, I yeah, get it. Like, but like, I'm just asking something actionable. Like what everybody, we keep saying he's so smart. I know he's smart, but it's like, what is going to really, how do we think he's like, cause Blackthorn's going to come in, right? AU, he's going to come in and help. Like he's making all these business moves, but like, does he, he seems mm -hmm. like he's still pretty outgunned uh, here. He, yeah, well, obviously he's outnumbered. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's okay. okay. Um, but to get to Jay, uh, Justin's point, uh, he's definitely outnumbered. He's definitely in the underdog situation. But he has uh, political moves, especially with the black ship, which they haven't really promoted in this series like they did the original Why is the black ship even still being series? talked about, though? Yeah, I think it will come into play. Did, didn't, they, didn't they sell back the Portuguese already after like the escape from... Uh... Osaka. Uh, there was a bar. I didn't even. Think, I didn't even think the ship was was still there because because uh, Rodriguez and his, and that captain and their crew he they were that, on um, the black my... ship. And right. then the the but, smaller but, galley ship that uh, they in... that they went back to after they got out the pass. I thought they. I thought the black ship had just sailed yeah. off back to Portugal. Remember. Um... Blackthorn said to Father, um, I think it's Michael, um, about mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my ship back and then I'm gonna get your black ship. Remember, yeah, that was yeah. on the last episode. Yeah, he, they're hoping to meet up with the ship. Like that, that's the idea with him. Oh, uh, they're hoping to make an go alliance and catch up to it. Okay. Yeah, forming an alliance with uh, Yabu that's a, is that's the gonna be them. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Okay, see, that, that's what in, I was yeah. con confused on. He was talking about going to catch them, not that they were still there. Got it. I am drinking honey, um, honey bourbon. Ooh, um, Evan Williams. Honey. What do you have a honey, cold? Uh, bourbon. He's well, yeah, he's you. nursing oh. a cold or something. Honey Does bourbon. He he's a cold? Tickle. A tickle. Tickle. I, tickle I am the drinking the, the rums <laughs> as. Uh, but but it is it is interesting with the ship because people are going to Tornaga still for like you you see who holds he gives yeah. all these people names and he gives these people so who's really in it is him in power still because he still is dictating things and stuff like that I was just trying to get a, a real He's answer so about like because I think it's going to come from nowhere and I'm just interested in what it is I'm a little bit confused and I'll say it like he's clearly a smart guy. I don't think he's dumb. I praised him with that council thing right away as first person to do it. But it's like, what do we think? How is he going to really win other than he's smart? And I think the show could have done better with that so far because I'm a little bit lost and it's a little bit, oh, he's just smart because we told you he's smart. So he's going to be smart. I think it's a little bit kind of shaky on those grounds. But I, I also haven't seen all of eight. So maybe there's some clarification. One of the things he's I was going to say that I. Well, yeah. that's all I can say. Yeah. One of the things I was going to say that is different than like, say, European civilization, which is usually, you know, like, especially in England, there's like a monarchy or something. In this civilization, you can come from nothing and, and rise the ranks. Yeah. Like, I mean, not even just like the woman who runs the brothel, but Ashido himself, yeah. right? Like, he Ashido himself. As, as a nothing also. Exactly. And he's, and he's, but he's ambitious. Mm -hmm. But so, but I think because Tornaga has such a legacy, I think he's actually maybe more connected and, than Ashido, Ashido is. Like, I think Ashido sort of takes for granted the idea that, like, Tornaga probably, sure, he has some enemies like um, um, Ochiba. She's not a big fan of his. There were that was interesting, by the way. What do you guys think about I, the whole thing with Ochiba? 
what she's playing at with Ashido and that and the, is the, exactly the, what I was about to ask. Yeah, and the Dion who just passed away, like the one who the woman who had the stroke, which was the Emperor's first. Well, the, wife. The, Can I say something wife. on the power yeah. structure? Two minutes. What you just sure. said. It, okay, interesting. Yeah. Right here, what you said is interesting. That he the where the power drives from. This is the Emperor is gone. This is the Shogun era. This is the Edo period. This is warlords. Mm -hmm. That's why he's there. Is no you're talking about a lack of blood, right? Right. Yeah. Acting, yeah. So that is because these are warrior clans, small warrior clans. It's only applicable. The only thing I can think like apples, apples kind of is native American tribes before colonization, that type of deal. Uh, like with, we're talking small groups of people that were vying for areas. It's very small, two to 300 uh, person mm -hmm. armies fighting for power. So business and all this, again, I think he's smart. So like, that is why, that is why blood does not matter at this point. Worth is what matters. Blood is on the, on the bench right now because it's the kid. Right, and they're supposed and that, to be waiting for him. The yeah, so there you go. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So uh, when it comes to um, uh, what 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 is what is her name now? And oh, oh, Ochiba. Ochiba. Yeah, and yeah, I she's didn't the mom of the, em of the of yeah. the emperor. She's the, the the mom of the heir, and the heir, she's yes. also Mariko's sister, which I thought was. I don't think they're sisters. I don't think they're actually sisters. I think they grew up together. Did they just grow up together? Yes. Okay. They're both. The, yeah, they were very but close. I would training? say they were, they were close, like sisters. I would okay. say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and they what, did. Any, did anyone else? Was anyone else reminded of uh, the mummy scene with Nefertiri and uh, Anaxiamen <laughs> training in, in front of the pharaoh when, when when they had that training session? That was the first thing that jumped into my brain. Oh yeah. And it's to see, I'm actually at the, like I'm of the mindset of a uh, scorpion at this when he's talking to Mariko later. Like you, you remember your childhood? Like you remember when y'all was growing up and training and whatnot? She was cool back then. What what the hell happened to her uh, to, to turn her into this very vindictive person that is just gunning for my throat all of a sudden? And that is, I think I need to see a few more tidbits of that backstory because Ochiba has it in her mind that that uh, Scorpion been fucking up, that he has been on some some nonsense since they were girls, and I I don't understand that. I need I need more information on that plot point. But okay. also, I think what it was, my... I think what it was, the person who killed her father. Uh, mm -hmm. had the ear of Tornaga. I think that's what it was. And they, and I think she believes that uh, and they she, influenced. She tried, yeah. She thinks um, it, it wasn't Mariko's dad that actually did all the dirt. He was just a mm -hmm. pawn. She thinks it was uh, Tornaga. And I don't believe that. From everything we've seen, I think whatever happened that personally hit her, hit her hard. And she is just fixated on putting the blame on Tornaga. Because I mean, everybody else is dead. From, from that time. Are so we going to gloss over? No can we talk about this action that Alicia's talking about? We're just glossing over this whole event about her background. Like, what? what no, I, I, no, yeah. no I, I, I was going into death, but, yeah. but take it away. No, no, I want you to continue Sorry, on. I was just saying, let's go on into that because I think we're glossing over it. Like, no, no, no. I, I think that's a, I think that that's a very important part. You know, we, we've all from yeah, the very beginning been wanting to fish? know. What Jack yes. right? so, 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 Alicia clarify so we, we all wanted, I'm, yeah, I'm fuzzy on it. Clarify, yeah, we, we all what wanted Mariko's origin, and yeah. from what I could tell, and this is why I thought that her and um Ochiba were sisters, is because what, when they we got that flashback, and I, mean, I think it was the beginning of uh, episode six, maybe seven, that you know they were in the same household as young children. And there, I, I don't know what was going on the night that there there was some issues where Mariko was, she got out of bed and saw her dad arguing with some people and he turned around and told her, hey, 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 it, it's cool. Don't worry about this. You just dream and go back to bed, go to sleep. And w when you wake up, everything will be cool. I thought that was the night that everything had went down, but it wasn't. That didn't happen until a few years later this was still her as a child this was still ochiba as a child and that night when mariko went little an eight nine year old mariko went to bed i believe that was ochiba also as a child that came in and laid down in the bed next to her so they were super close so oh, yeah and, and that's why i thought they were sisters but e even so i have friends that i'm close with like that so i get it they, they, they may not be blood related but they're still <laughs> you know interlinked like that so with that happening and then them growing up, we saw a little bit of how things were um, when 
uh, Mariko was first sent over mm-hmm. to w- w- with that marriage pact with um, but what's his name, Bantaro, the 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 jerk off. I still don't. I, uh, also, what we'll, Bantaro we'll the jerk off. I, I, I like it. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I got I have thoughts on him, but he, he's beside the point right here. With, with these two, they grew up so close together that they were actually being trained to fight. And I don't know how much you guys know about um, yeah. It, it, history and the Japanese people at this time, it, it wasn't a thing for women to actually be training all the time like that. So that said that, that shows, that shows a little bit of their status. I think she came from privilege. That, they, right. that those, that those girls, yeah, that those girls, See, were yeah, they, to- they would have been trained to protect the house. My understanding was, mm-hmm. Can not we highlight to be what exactly. so and, but that's away, something that was only reserved for like yeah. high, highborn families for highborn. Yeah. But when the men are away warring, the women have to be able to protect the house. That's exactly. what my understanding was. Yeah. Can we highlight and, what yeah, it, it's, not, it's, it, it's not for every class of people. No. Though, and you know that. Uh, on a bagasha, which are like a type of female um, uh, geisha. They warrior. were like the, the, the super high level uh, escorts. Yeah, yeah. Which also yeah. is yeah. Where, where the that. idea this, from. This that, is the that origin of them. By I was way. talking about. Guys, that's, I just that's where say- that started. I just want to say thank you so much to Luna who gave us a twenty dollar super chat. Thank you yes. so much. This is Shout one out of Luna's strengths is he knows how to put the right people in the right place. He doesn't yes. necessarily trust them, but he trusts them. They will be themselves. That's a very mm-hmm. good point that he can use. And yeah, you're right, make Sarah. It's not strategically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he, he and, knows. And the point, the geisha did not exist, but that's why we had those tea houses. They, 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 the, the geisha level was not there just yet, but this Loki could could probably be like a soft, subtle intro this to is. that becoming a thing. Historically, mm-hmm. this is, is what I was trying to say. This is the yeah. origin of the geisha here. We're it, seeing absolutely, it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. We weren't at the geisha yet, uh, but uh, the, and, and the Ona geisha probably were later as well, because the pictures that I had looked at. Yeah. I I was doing my and, Westworld and, video and, were quite a bit later, but there yeah. were, uh, I, I, my understanding is that they did train women. Um, there were a few and, and what natural selection said there. Yeah. There, there were a certain, some, some ladies that were able to get that mm-hmm. training, but it and was always the long usually pole. the highborn families. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 not, I, I can't remember called. the name. The long pole and it has a a, a blade on the end. That's like a that's helper, a woman's, it's, yeah. it's, that's a woman's uh, yeah. woman's weapon. Yeah, mm-hmm. we saw her use it once. So uh, Hex asked something about Toronaga feeling anti-Catholic. So I agree with Hex here. He says I really want more info about their backstory. I agree. I don't think I I think that mm-hmm. we have the gist of it. I'd like to hear somebody explain it. I rushed through the episode. It seems like he, the dad was sent off to get rid of some people and kind of like you know, do the hits and take the blame. And then she was shipped off. Yeah. But as far as the anti-Catholic, I can speak to that on a historical level hacks. They're anti-Catholic Thank because you, Sarah. they had all the Jesuits come there from Portugal in like three years before the story starts hacks. You had a, a, a time where it was illegal for them to even preach and they had to push them into the hills. Yep. So now that their emperor is dead and the son is in waiting. So now there's this time of weakness, right? Of unsurety. That's uh, when they struck. We, yeah. I guess where we see with Toronaga playing chess. And I, oh, by the way, I think he's smart, everybody. Don't worry. Uh, I think he's going to win. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't worry. He's going to do it. I get it. I saw him too. Um, but yeah, so like he is coming back, but they have more sway because it's an unstable mm-hmm. ground. So they've come back in, but it was actually illegal for them to breach. He didn't like what he saw, what they did. That's why when he saw Blackthorn, it was like, ding, ding, ding. Here is a Christian that isn't a Catholic that isn't beholden to the Pope because Catholics answer to the Pope. I brought this up in one of the first streams. Joe Biden and Jack Kennedy, the only two Catholic presidents we've ever had, ironically, even in this time for that same type of stigma, though, he's going to listen to the Pope. But back then, the Pope called Japan part of their area. That was part of the, and he didn't even own the Papal States, by the way. That's pretty fucking annoying. If this guy's like, oh, I own Japan now. I'm like, you don't even own the Papal States. You, you can't even, you, you don't even anoint the King of Naples. But anyways, that's why he didn't like them because they came in there and they were helpful for the trade because they refused to do any trade with the Chinese for some reason. I don't know what that's about. They don't get along. Look it up. No, they refused uh, to do any trade with anyone. Anybody, that that yeah. was China and Japan back then. By they the did way, not fuck with anybody. So he's just looking just for one make, person. I'm going to make something. a point about something on Twitter. Uh, someone was posting about Shogun, what a great show it is. And then mm-hmm. it was something the poster wrote is everyone can agree that we all hate the Portuguese. <laughs> Yeah, they suck because they're like, "Hey, I'll do this silk trade." Um, also, which made me laugh so yeah. hard. What are yo, the, the silk trade, the, the spice trade. Okay, yo, the the, the yeah. east 
uh, India uh, trading company. That that wasn't just a thing that was made up in Pirates of My the Caribbean. My only issue with the Portuguese is the well. sardines when they barbecue the sardines and they really stink and they like kind of smell stink up the neighborhood or whatever. I used to live in little Portugal. So uh, <laughs> that's my only problem with the Portuguese. Other than that, I have no problem with them, uh, you know, to each his own. They're like the first people to find everything, but obviously their behavior wasn't all that great, kind of like mine. And they were like, yeah, so they found it and they're like, that's ours. They didn't but find they're not here stuff. so much they anyway. Didn't find nothing. Yeah. But no, they found a bunch of stuff, but they didn't stick around so much because like other people that aren't as insufferable as like, you know, like talking about the Pope oh. and stuff like that came and they're like, hey, I'll trade stuff for you. I'm also a Christian, but I'm not right. just going to. Sorry, okay, no, find is the wrong word. What? It's sorry, discover. sorry, we wouldn't have tempura without the Portuguese. What? Yeah. What? What's that all about, Kitty? Okay, please so there's explain. the first the first people that went That's somewhere, least, and then the first people that went somewhere and wrote about it. So yeah, yeah. Just, no, they, they do not smell delicious when they're being barbecued because <laughs> no. they catch uh -uh. on fire and they smoke and mm. they oh, it's awful. My husband gets so angry about it. <laughs> do you think the Pope was yeah. talking? Okay, about so I'm gonna go barbecue some sardines the, the wrong right now. Word. Okay, John. The found wasn't the right word. It was discovered. I have a problem with with all the, the with European countries saying that they discovered anything. You don't discover well, shit. I, I, that people already yeah, but are the people that wrote they discovered it. Is what I mean. I don't. Yeah, obviously other people are there. No, 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 no. I, I know that. No, that that's not that's what that con that's not what that comment was for. No, he I went there, Alicia, and he was like, "Hey, Japanese people, you're Japanese people. I'm from Portugal. I'll tell that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he found it." He named them. They all didn't know what was going on before then. Did, it, did, uh, did the them. Portuguese decide to? Well, actually, no. But it probably would have been the uh, the monks who came up with the idea to shave mm -hmm. their the circle around their heads so well, that, that their that, hats would fit on nicely. Uh, uh, there's some reason for that, John. Do you that know that is the reason just for so that? It was, uh, <laughs> it was a heat. It was a heating issue. It, I believe. Yeah. And the ja well, the Japanese do it too for for their helmets apparently to keep their heads cool. Yeah, but that's for like practical reasons. I'm pretty sure yeah. the the monks do it for weird like. His hat fits perfectly practice. where. Did you notice that his hat fits perfectly where the the tonsor is? Yeah, it's yeah. really it's really not sexy. <laughs> John, do you know who the Pope would have been at this time? Heidi, can you highlight no. that uh, comment from Duarte? No, 1600s. And, uh, shout out to Duarte because I not don't think powerful. I've seen your name before. Welcome. Ooh. Very weak pope. Which means nice. little fish from the garden, tempura. That's cool. See, I I, I just love learning small tidbits about. Hold on, the Portuguese are calling me, Alicia. They're discovering me. They're giving the me. You, you know what? It, 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 when, when I look, when I see things like this in history, it kind of makes me ashamed yeah, a little it. bit because my family does have oh. some Portuguese being colonized from South America. That yeah, we we kind of couldn't couldn't get away from that sadly. <laughs> Everybody's okay, got so we can thank the Portuguese for um everything for that mm -hmm. lies. No, I'm I'm sure I'm sure actually my my sister in law has been to Portugal like three times and she loves it. It's her favorite place to go. Yeah. Yes. But why wouldn't they trade with like I said? Okay, all they did was fight with Korea and not trade with China. Bad <laughs> bad foreign policy. Like, because then you deal with, you oh. give people power and you're like, they didn't like the power the Jesuits had. This is a very serious thing. Like, they didn't like it at all. But why was it just racism? I, like, what was it? What, they would not deal with the Chinese. Like, they just refused. I to think do they're it. mortal enemies, it was aren't a they? Superiority. It was a superiority <clears throat> complex. Like, it, when, when you look back on history and a lot of the things that so, are, aren't usually talked about in history classes that Japan has done to that area of the world it's it, it's staggering to yeah. say the least they keep being isolationist every like other 500 years too so they kind of well they did it. actually uh they did actually close the doors to japan for a while and they kicked everybody out they like just after this they era yeah which, which um, actually i feel like how they're setting this story up with the, the kid air it could be that they, that they they would uh line that up with him coming into power and seeing they are random from foreigners and he shuts the shit down yes you're right that happens that happens in about 80 years yep. yeah um okay so did you guys talk about uh ochiba and what what is going on with her and what her plans are and, yeah we were yeah uh, we were in the middle of that you were in the middle of that so, so we're ochiba the way by the way am i the only one right who now? thinks Sushido is dead sexy that actor is so hot i <laughs> <laughs> like, you are know, absolutely the only one on this panel of all of us like with two straight villain. men and one gay woman that think I'm he's sorry. Hot. Yeah, he's the villain, I know, but in real life, IRL, he is a hottie. Anyway, just throwing that out there. I'll give you a two When you um, said that, I was thinking know. of Achiba, not. Yeah, I, <laughs> well, Achiba's a hottie about. too. 
Oh, she's a beauty, <laughs> but no, no, no. Uh, I will, I will absolutely high five you on that, John. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, old Chiba can get it. She's yeah. kind of oh, bitchy, yeah. and I don't, I don't oh, like her that yeah, much yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. But, she's she's got, but she's still hella yeah. sexy. Yeah. I know, I know everyone thinks that, um, yeah, no, I think everyone thinks Mariko is just the beautiful one, but Achiba, she's kind of a hottie, but no, no, uh, Jackie, I'm talking about Ashido, the bad guy who is trying yeah, to yeah, the, the marry guy that's, that's Ochiba. Trying to, yeah, and trying to marry. When, you see and, him, when you see him in like outtakes and stuff, he just seems like the sweetest guy. I just, yeah, I have a big crush on him. He probably is. He probably yeah. is a, a lot, a lot from what I've seen, you know, a lot of those guys are, and that's not just from like looking at like the DVD extras. I, I, I am fortunate oh. enough to know some I, people. I from think that the culture, idea that, sh- that he's presenting to her is that the two of them would be sort of like on un- consolidating power, you know, they could be consolidating yeah, he's power. Looking for a power couple. He's he. Yeah. He, and, um, and, and I love how though there's this one scene where, where he says, you know, I was admired you or something. And she goes, Oh, it was because it was sounded like so so uh, North Korean. She's like, oh, it's because I was I was in the gaze of my of our Lord or something of my husband. She was. Who she basically cast a said, light on me. <laughs> she basically bullshit. said, I was the new hot piece. So obviously, you were going to see me, <laughs> and you were going to think I was sexy. He's not fooling me for a second. I know he's putting out mm-hmm. these flowery words, and he looked yeah. like he was being sincere. But she is seeing through all of that bullshit. He is just trying to oh, consolidate power because he yeah. thinks once he puts a ring on it, he's going to be able to curb her. And I feel like he is vastly underestimating her, just like the the head priest when when uh, our uh, friar was trying to tell him, don't underestimate this woman. He's doing yeah. the same thing. Well, she's kind of like right now. She's kind of like Cersei, so she's like the queen regent. She has no, the mother of the she's heir. Cersei. Mm-hmm. She's smarter oh, than Cersei. No, mm-hmm. well, okay, maybe she's don't smarter, but she's. She, I'm just talking about her position. So she's <laughs> yeah. like she's the queen regent. She has quite a bit of power, and here you have someone like you know uh, her dad yeah. telling her that she's got to marry uh, you know a Tyrell or something like that. Yeah. She doesn't want to because as soon as she does that, she kind of loses her like you know position. So she's obviously in a much better position to not be married to him uh it's a much more advantageous relationship for him than for probably for her um except for him being dead dead sexy but (laughs) but also she's very young like i was thinking about this like he's probably like like 50 or something and she Hmm? Well, no, no, I was just she, saying that this speaks at, to at the least situation. Like early 30s. But this is uh, the situation of all women during uh, post uh, Renaissance. No, she's era in her where, 20s. Where they had, would, if they had husbands that died or they won't, weren't married, they had that's the only way they could have their freedom. <laughs> so they would avoid this at all costs. Yeah. They would avoid what you're talking about, Heidi, because they have more power alone. If they marry a man, it becomes his. So they're trying to stay away from them. For I mean, I would say almost all women are better yeah, off. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're, uh, you, but, you know, you're, yeah. even well, if you're not married, you're still property. Like No, I, no, no, I, not as much. The women could only. Okay, maybe not as much, but you're still, you're, you know, like women are not like, they don't have status. Like they they, don't have like a, you know, they they, they don't have agency. The best thing that could happen if you were a woman during this time, Heidi, is marry a guy, hope to God he gets killed. And then you can have your land and and all that. That's the only way you can have it. it. If you don't have any kids I don't know, uh, Toronaga's wife does okay. She's all right. Well, it is interesting though that we but don't they have actually get lines. along though they have a they good do. relationship they like each other but yeah. we, we 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 talk about kings and how stupid these bloodlines are look at the other option this is so messy too it's so stupid too like everybody's still marrying for power it's just less organized it's a mess that's the, that's say, the give me a system. king give me i'm a monarchist that's, give me a king i'll take system. it at least there's some organization like this is a mess mm-hmm. This is tribalistic. Yeah, that, that's that's really just that's really just how it is. And yes, uh, what what Silver Scare is saying as the heir's mom, she has more a little more agency than even Mariko. And I think uh, we've seen Mariko oh, oh, has yeah, been absolutely. extended a lot of agency. And it, it and this is also another another plot point that I like. You know, I, I feel like this this is a good segue into uh, my my want of uh, smacking well no punching uh, Bushido in the face because he is steadily trying to blame all of his marital issues on Mariko being cold to him in their marriage. Oh, you mean and now he wants to uh, Bataro, mm-hmm. that's it. Sorry, yeah. wrong name. But n- now he he also petitions uh Scorpion to be able to take the Anjin's head 
because I don't like how he looks at my wife. I'm like, are you insinuating that, that there's something going on between them that that he is trying to get at her and she is is endorsing that she's allowing that to happen? And he he clarifies very speedily, like, no, I I don't wish to take my wife's head, just his. And he and uh, Scorpion's like, well, if you're not putting blame on her, then how you gonna put blame on him? for some nonsense that you're concocting and the scene before that that which is why i this is stuck in my memory that there's a scene before that where he is being reprimanded for being a dick because of what happened when they had their uh dinner when he was first ordered to stay well, in, in that house oh, and, he, and he was like you know it, it it i'm sorry my lord you know she, she just she always brings me out of my mind she incenses mm -hmm. me well then get a fucking divorce and move on. You disgrace not only in me, but you disgrace your family name. You disgrace your house. You disgrace the house of Mahatamoto, who, again, you already know is esteemed in my presence. So what the hell is you doing? If she's the problem, like you say, divorce her, and then we don't got to worry about this shit no more. But he is steadily room, looking right? at it, putting the yeah. blame on her. Dude, she's cold in your marriage? Word? You're literally beating her every freaking time we see you or you're yelling at her or putting her down for having a job. Your Lord finds her valuable as a translator. And yes, he orders her to be with him when he goes to these important meetings. And you mad? You telling your son, yo, what business does, does your mother have leaving the house? You going to tell your boss no? Yeah, it, it doesn't he, matter. He ordered, and you and you, it, it, all of it just stems on his insecurities and his bullshit thoughts. But he doesn't want to see that, which is why I, I didn't. Uh, like yeah, she could have been the coldest bitch in the world. It doesn't matter. Time. She is useful to the Lord. She is mm -hmm. useful. So guess what, motherfucker? She could be the worst person in the world. It does not matter. You don't matter. I don't get like John said. Read the room. He had so <laughs> much agency. And and, and, and let, let, to be fair, y'all don't think I'm just shitting on this man to shit on him. I said, you know, that when when uh me and Meeks were were talking about it earlier, the uh, what was it uh, episode three, episode episode three, episode four, when we were talking about it, he handled his business on the docks. Okay, yeah. he was yeah. the one oh, yeah. that held the yeah. line so everybody could go could, could get on the ship, and he was yeah. acknowledged in that. So the man does have skills, he can pull his own, he's shown that. But then you look at his wife. Okay, your wife is uh being put into this highly esteemed position, and you mad. Mm. Your dad is the fucking hand of, uh, of the, the, the king, you know, the future shogun over here. And you really talking shit. And th there is one line that Uncle Han said, right? And I believe it was his last line before he uh, committed Soroku. And when he looked at him, because he called his, he called his son up to be the second. So once he does the gutting, it, it's his job to uh, cut off his dad's head. And he's and he said to him, like, no, I want to commit Sapuku right after you. I can't be your second. And he just looked at him dead cold as ice in his eyes and said uh no i said what i said you're gonna do what i told you to do and you know what you about to know what it is to be denied a good death because he has been denying mariko this for how many years they've been married and again still has the nerve to blame their marital problems on her when the issue has always the subtle been line so i feel like that says, was great even when it appears your lord is going to to um be killed even when, when it, it seems appears. like he's going to be killed yeah don't give yeah, up on even him. When it appears, what are you yeah, going to do go yeah, kill a bunch exactly. of people exactly um well, yeah. first off, how many people are actively trying to, this is a serious question i want at the chat and you guys how many people are actively trying and being denied to kill themselves in this series <laughs> now, i'm a serious question there's at least three people that want it's, to there's, 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 there's mariko there's yeah. fuji yeah, who, who, is, yeah. who is the third you're thinking? And Bantaro. I'm thinking there's three. There's, yeah, there, Bantaro there. also wants to kill himself. Yeah, and then and add me. By the way, at the, at the end yeah. there, but I, I'm yeah. not giving him to that because Marco and Fuji wanted yeah. it the whole time. By the way, I was going to say, okay, one of the things I think the show does a really good job of is it doesn't have just black and white characters. I think the characters, as mm -hmm. you know, as, as, as George Martin Very always says, like, oh, very yeah. multi-layered. And Bantaro, someone was saying, I really did feel for him. And I think... First of all, I think the actor 
is amazing. He does such a great job. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, it, it's kind of like Facebook, like their relationship is complicated, right? Like it's, it's, um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that he, like, you know, obviously him, him being violent with her and, and, and treating her like property obviously is terrible, hard. but there, uh, but there is, you know, I think it's sort of like, he's sort of, he's spoken about it. He says, imagine like I've been in this, she's cold. So He's been in Light this relationship fire. with this woman but why for years. Why is she cold though? That's the reasoning. Well, she doesn't He's love been him. He's cold to her this yeah. whole time. And I why? Don't know how that, how no, could she well, love him? No, well, he uh, in his mind at the beginning it wasn't like that, and according to her, he his mem his he's misremembering. Like, so they have yeah. they she come from that. a different point of view, right? And and um and she's basically she's wanted to end her life. Mm -hmm. Like I, everything she's been doing is out of duty. She hasn't like, there hasn't been anything that she has done in her life that has really ever been for her or for herself. Maybe having her son, maybe, maybe there, there, um, there is one thing that there was being one a Christian was her, was her being uh, a Christian. Yes. That's a very good one, John. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I'll say, I'll say too that, 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 that one definitely. Um, but what I was saying is, um, you know, th there was that one night that she took for herself where she uh, chose to go ride the Blackthorn train. We, um, but they, I'm, you know what? Saying. They haven't really ever confirmed that though. Have they? Hey, Do yeah. we know that that it was actually her? Who else? It, you know, you know, it wasn't. Fuji. I mean, I you thought know it, was it was her. No courtesan. It, oh. it, that, that was her. They are not going to tell us one way or the other because it's meant to keep us guessing, but that was her. I think it's not. I think it's clear that it's her. Like I, you guys tricked me two streams ago and made me double guesses. I'm almost positive they're not. I think we're just being a little bit too Western here and mixing people up. That was her. It was clearly her, right? That's, that, that's literally what I just said. Yeah, but it, I know, it was her. She did. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, mad. What I was gonna say is because I have. So, someone... so that's what I'm saying. She took two things, that, and that yeah. was one of them. Okay, so but every other after time the, after the live stream, the someone commented chat. saying, "I they're really hope that." In. <laughs> After the live stream, someone said, <laughs> you guys, oh my God. After the live stream, someone said, I really hope that Mariko and John don't end up together because that, that would kind of bother me. And I kind of, so I'm wondering if they just sort of had that moment for the two of them only to kind of Same. pull them back apart. Like, well, it would be her decision. I think that's right? what it may have been. And Mariko mm -hmm. has already said she will always choose her country and her duty. Yeah. Yeah. And we saw it in episode eight. But she also reaffirmed and made that clear. Where, where the fuck are we going to run off to, bruh? What, what do you but, think is going to happen when we get on that ship? Nah, I'm not going there. She did say she's possible to have two hearts, though. Yeah, she has As a separation. Well. She yeah. said it's possible to have two hearts, but she is still, from everything that we have seen, everything this woman has said, she is for her country she is for her lord yeah, yeah. she she could have that's why she takes in the beating right run away yes. with mariko yeah exactly yeah, that's happiness. why she took that every time it happens she is taking uh, those licks and she and she just course corrects the way she needs to navigate after she is still so all cute. in for the game it would be so cute if Mariko had a scene with John when she says, I marry you, I marry you, I marry you. Well, anything that could no, be her no, decision would be appealing, right? Because everything we're talking about is not her doing, it's, it's her boss's doing. It's not saying I have a problem with my wife, I have a problem with my boss, because the boss is the one making her do these things. Any agency she has is she's created with Blackborn. She gets to make her, Christianity is something that she has her, oh, on her own. These are, oops. these are roads mm -hmm. to agency for her so she has also disclosed i have two hearts and also eight stomachs for my cow i believe she said you can quote me on that um she can eat she, the rotten tofu and the... yeah yeah she goes i have so many stomachs mm, too I say, fermented really cool. you're so yeah. cold um but anyways uh yeah, yeah, no yeah, but, yeah. but but on a real note she she's it was a quote i don't know it verbatim but it was talking about how she isn't like numb to all this she just knows how to like hold her feelings. Oh no, back. she's not. She knows yeah, how to yeah, compartmentalize. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like all these people are well, being emotional. Oh, oh, my arranged marriage wife doesn't love me. They put a westerner in my house when I kill. You know what I mean? Yeah, it sucks, bro. That, well, I think what? that's the, eight, house. the eightfold fence, right? That she's she, she talked about. But John, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that like any opportunity she has to do something she decides to do is very appealing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> very appealing. She's like, what do you want? You know, Coke or Sprite? She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is Coke heaven. or Sprite? No, she will look at you like, uh, no, Saki. Oh, what I is this? Count. What is this you, Coke you, you speak cold of? Bitch, you, you went too far. 
you went too far. Yeah. So You're I think right. Oh, oh, yeah. did you see how, the, how tea, the tea ceremony culture. in the uh, last episode? Did, I did see you see the you tea ceremony? In the... No. I, did you I, see I, the I tea? Know. Yo, okay. Did, did, did you think something was up with that? Did you think? I thought he was he was straight up gonna poison her with that tea ceremony because no. all of a sudden you've been complaining about this woman since episode one. You've been nothing but insulting and throwing hands at this woman since episode one and now you want to make this tea ceremony and i don't know how much y'all know again about japanese or chinese culture but a tea ceremony that's a big deal it's an even bigger deal that he's the one that wanted to do it for her that that's and and i'm right. look it up you, you don't have to believe me go you can google this oh no i believe you. It, I, it I never very once significant he, no i thought it was a, i thought, I thought he was, was a love gesture her. I thought it was a love gesture. I thought he was absolutely going to say, here, you can have the death that you've been asking for. Yeah. And he, he did, did he offer that in a her. different form, but I, I straight thought he was just going to put some poison in the tea, and Marco was about to die right there. Isn't that ironic? I, the, I don't the trust wife you him. want to die so bad just wants to kill herself, but she can't because she's assigned to be your wife? Isn't that a paradox right there? Exactly. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But that, yeah, because when the shit that. went down with her family, they were already married, and that is the only reason that she survived. And he hates that he's yeah. talking about she's always been cold bro you've been hating on this woman since y'all got married oh my wife doesn't what do you love expect me? her to be go after yourself man. my Get favorite it. part Throw of this scene, it, my kids. favorite part yeah. is that she goes out to the garden i thought this was so fascinating she goes into the garden she drinks from a little bit of water and then she climbs through a little hole into the tea room i thought that was so cool i was like because that's, that, really that, that's how because at that room, I think that room was dedicated specifically for tea ceremonies between spouses. I think that's that's why I could be wrong on that, but that's what it seemed like to me. Because the, a tea ceremony is just such a very big deal in mm -hmm. their culture. So that's what I'm saying. So it, yeah. it, it it's fitting that it would be something special like that. They uh, they uh, the, I actually watched the behind the scenes of like they you know obviously they brought in the you know the master of gestures and the master of the tea ceremony and they did it exactly mm -hmm. like it was perfect. I like oh, I, I um, Wikipedia it. It's like you know, for y'all for y'all eighties kids y'all eighties kids out there. If you remember in Karate Kid and everything? Too, it was so cool in the tea ceremony. Yeah. But even. But even when she mm -hmm. uh, she lifts it and then she slightly turns the bowl and then she, yeah she, like, because the he, thing was, he got the, he got that one little detail yeah. wrong but she corrected it didn't say nothing yeah just no I know she, it's like okay he's trying all right let me just do this little thing and she and she's very polite and real with him mm -hmm. in those moments and I feel her when she says you are still missing the point mm -hmm. I'm not telling you that I want to die just to die and escape the shame of my family that's mm -hmm. not it i fully understand what my father did for the realm i don't think my father did anything wrong what did he do did but, he but, but, but to be able know. but to but it, it's the it's it's the jamie lannister situation okay in that part everybody could say jamie was wrong and yes i also agree jamie was wrong there's better ways that you could have wrangled the king. You you were no no you you were fighting an old senile man that was unarmed, Jamie. Sorry, okay, you didn't have to knife him in the back. Wrong? That was, was fucked up. Wrong? Well, he stabbed him in the back of the belly. Like I'm telling you, because he killed the king. Under the floor or something, didn't he? And he no, the king. Listen, he was listen. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. Uh, That's that what I'm saying. Set everyone on fire. Okay, yeah, but listen, listen, listen Heidi, Heidi, let me. me finish. Okay. No, no, exactly, because he, because he agrees. Okay, look. So here's the thing: Jamie is part of the King's Guard. He is supposed yes. to guard Ares. Is Ares, was Ares fucking up? Absolutely. Did Ares need to be stopped? Absolutely. Jamie, as a King's Guard, should it's not, not have stabbed the king <laughs> in at the back. You can't All break. He had, again, Ares was a senile old man that was crazy as hell. So all you had to do was snatch this little dude up, put him in a corner, or just freaking pin him down on the floor and sit on his back. He wasn't going to go nowhere. He wasn't going to do shit. He couldn't even hold a sword at that point. He was unarmed. But you knifed the king in the back. That is why when the hour of the wolf came up, Cregan Stark had some words for him. And he deserved all those. I'm sorry, not Cregan. Not that different situation. Ned came in and looked at him like, you motherfucker. 
Yeah, that I don't like him. Work. I don't like him either. But you did this bullshit the wrong way. That is the problem, and that yeah. is that, and that's the same thing that happened here. Mariko's father did something for the realm, and yes, it meant that he had to betray their lord or or you know their, the their uh, a high king or whatever. But he did it for good, and that is the part that is being messed up. But it's the way they went about doing that that is the problem. That's why it's a stain on their families. And he has been holding this shit against Mariko because he is now tied to a shameful family name in her through marriage. Exactly. And he's been abusing her since then. And yeah. he's wor and, and he's mad that she's cold to him. How the fuck do you expect her to be? And even with that, again, let's let's remember how important heirs are in this era. She still gave him an heir. They have a son. Your legacy can go on. But you still got problems with this die. woman, and now that somebody else has come in that you see she absolutely has eyes for, you want to take you want to take it as a personal offense that yeah. she doesn't look at you like that. Yeah, and Alicia, up, you bring bro. up a good point, Alicia. Duty versus love, right? Love versus duty, like is what you're talking about. Ned had a problem with Jamie because it's oh, you broke your oath because they are stringent. It's the to way the he went about yeah. doing it, even when he went to the tower, he said, "Why weren't you defend at the?" fight he just fought the trident he was bitching at the king's guard saying why weren't you at the trident to defend your lord you know what i mean like he's yeah because like, you're sticklers for the rules because when you break this is a whole thing about leaving the system that that tornaga did he left the system because if you can't fight within it and win you must leave it so this is what i, I get what you're talking about here alicia um the the, the the interesting thing is that again this is all dictated by tornaga like all of this like these are Very your true. boss is making these decisions you're right though about Very the tea true. room let me say wikipedia moment from justin here chasistu uh, that's probably perfectly announced <laughs> uh, pronounced um <laughs> is architectural style that developed is referred to suit something style and it is where uh there was place for tea and there's a garden outside yep. of it uh, alicia's 100 percent right here this is from wikipedia i looked it up typical features blah 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 they got windows oh that sounds nice a wooden lattice and all this other stuff. So there it is. Um, you were right about that. Yeah. Yeah. Secret, right. secret AK lore. Y'all didn't know that. Y'all didn't know yeah. that I'd be down on it. You thought there, yeah, it wasn't they special. Did, you're stupid. They did show. Yeah, we saw the interior of the tea house a couple of times. Like, yeah. um, and and that's why it was such. That's why, like, if you look at the houses that we've seen there so far, all of those rooms, they're very spacious. They have those little dividers, but they can easily be moved. That mm -hmm. tea room, though, you can see it's small. It's yeah. meant to be such a very intimate situation because, uh, again, it's put there just for spouses. I don't want to interrupt, Alicia, but imagine getting offered no. tea in, like, the, the mud room, God forbid. Or, you know what I mean? I'd be like, excuse me. I mean, I like, I like <laughs> tea. I'm in? coming into the mud room, especially, I'll do, like, I'll do it in the a rainstorm. Too. I'll do it in no, the trust. please too. meet me at the door of the mud <laughs> yeah. room with the hot Oh, no, no, no. That is it. That is I, I, wouldn't, I, I would not be offended by that. But there is there's martial art to everything that they do, though. There is a beautiful uh, aspect of their lifestyle Absolutely. with like everything is there's ooh, why... yeah. When I scoop dog poop, they do it beautifully. Every... But they... It's why they said that they've that they've that their they culture has they cleaned really the beauty of shadows. Because you know what when, when you look at their yes. houses and again, like how they like oh, candles thanks. and whatnot, Luna. It's it, that that's that's how it goes. But they, they see the beauty in shadows because that's mostly their world once the they sun live goes. In shadows. And yeah. look at you, Luna. Thank you, girl. Thank Appreciate you so much, you. Luna. She says, not excusing Bantaro's actions, but he loves Mariko, or Mariko, Doesn't a possessive love. If Mariko reciprocated, he would not feel shame, but he's still abusive. Um, what did he do once he got in that house? I want an answer from you, John. That, 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 Anybody. What did he do? Because he there was like 80 guys in that house. What did he do? Would he use like rock, paper, scissors from here on out? Like, how did he mm -hmm. survive that? What happened? Mm -hmm. I, he I said. teen dudes. I They're said that I thought he had he had money on, uh, on him and oh, he would have paid point. them. Yeah, he's like, yo. John, what do you think oh, uh, how Bontero got that, out of out of that I situation? Track, In the team. He he money. It's commonly known that they would have had money on them to pay Yeah, but he off. killed so many dudes right there. He like did. they were yeah, like you killed like that is okay. known with knights, but what it's happened? It, I, what I, I'll give you know, go ahead, Uncle AU. I'll I'll give my thoughts after. Go ahead. I'm trying to remember good? what you're what so yeah, at I'm the docks when he kills all those guys, he ends up okay. Yeah, yeah well, well no, see, it, it wasn't an it wasn't an actual part, it, it was just a speculation on us when we were talking about it. When they were at the docks, and um um uh, Bontaro was yeah. the only one, you know, th there was a few of them left in the forest to hold the line, so uh Scorpion and and uh Blackthorn and all the crew could get back could get to the ships right. and get gone. 
he um um Bontaro, he was the the head of that little small cell that stayed behind and by the time it was over he was the only one that even made it to the docks yeah. and again you know I, and y'all right. saw when me and Meeks talked about it we give credit where credit is due it, it blackthorn to his credit looked and saw him like yo hold on wait we we got to go back for him like We're he's right there feet away We're he's right there away. but but, but they couldn't and <laughs> at the end what happened is you know again he got his props from scorpion you know he shouted out his full name yo thank you that we can get away homie go die well and and we wow. thought that he did die well because he led everybody away from the dock. So they, they didn't even think to jump in the water and try to go after that. So kudos to him on that. You're still a dick, but kudos to him on that. Isn't that and why the they left him though? Was how did he get away? Yes. Because by all rights, he should have died, but they 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 never spoke about it. We don't we don't know how he got away, and and a lot of us speculated that maybe he paid them off, but they don't go into battle any type of guard situation with their money pouches. They don't a need name that. would mean something, a name, a name, a recognition. I, That's why I mean, maybe a name, but that would, that would mean that maybe there was some type of deal made yeah. and to let every, for, to let everything go as far as where it did with uh, and how episode eight ended. If he would have been on Ashido's payroll, mm. he would have made a very different moves. Throughout the, all, the yes, and, and to your point, Alicia, all eighteen to twenty-two guys that he killed before then didn't have any discrepancy with trying to kill him. The reason Toronaga left him there because he's like, no, Blackthorn, <laughs> that guy fucking sucks because he does fucking suck. He's like, let's leave him. It was better for him to die. Yes, I, 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 I think that was twofold. Well, you, what did right. he do differently in the house? I mean, it's just storytelling, lib. But I just want to see that scene of him being like, listen here, and he gets out his quick books or whatever, and he's like, this is how much I make. Give me a piece of this, you know what I mean? Like, but nice used to wear um, sigils for this reason, so you would know what house they're from, and they take you like, no, you know, right, right, you're right. But they, no, I don't my, think they my, do. My contemplative mm just now was uh, looking in the chat at um what Silver Scale just said, and she's saying, "Yo, he he's useful to Taranaga now, and so is uh Mariko. Mariko was already useful independent of yeah. Bontero. Yeah, he's more of a problem. She's had him. her job since episode." one and that's been one of his biggest gripes how dare you uh have a special assignment from the lord and be out of the house that 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 that's that that was the first gripe where we all know oh, this dude is well he should have married a asshole. businesswoman oh there you go but I, yeah. i'm saying exactly see he he's all that's that's the thing with his character like he he is married to a very successful woman especially for those times but he sees it as a stain on him because of what her daddy did years ago. And she and he has denied her being able to take that um, very accepted ritualistic uh, suicide to uh, not only uh, just get away from him and, you know, ju just be able to lay to rest and have have a decent afterlife, but then to re reunite with her family. And he knows that's something that she wants that would make her happy. So he has consistently denied her. Okay, let me Which swear is this why circle. When he's crying about his, his uh his, his, her being cold. I don't give a fuck about your tears, bro. <laughs> Last thing, hear me out on this. How are you going to square this circle? Okay. She's a Christian, right? Yeah. How is she expecting to kill herself and have an afterlife? That's an interesting question. That, that's that that to 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 that that is that goes into different points that are not completely not, not relevant to here because well, they're very relevant because no. she thinks she's going to go with her family and all that. If she's a diehard Christian, that's not in the books. I read the book; it's not in there. It's a bad thing. Uh, so it, like, how it, okay, no, no, it's okay. See, and, and that's the thing. Back then, the the holy books that you're talking about no, completely different. Nope, from, completely. No, no, I'm not saying they weren't around. What I'm saying is the books that were uh, put together into that one big book were very different from what we are reading now. Not at this now. point, Alicia. I'm sorry to announce. No, this. no. I think they had this. I think they had this. I have studied these things. AU, can you jump in here? John, there. John is her. Yeah, John the Wilma. scriptures were at the. Uh, I, I hate. Like, I hate to disagree with AK. I would never disagree with AK. About Two hundred years too late. Sake, you know, no, just, no, I, no, I'm no, just, no. Tell, tell uh, me your knowledge. I, I know that there are books in in that were in the 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 great book, as they say, the Bible, that are not available to us now because they were taken out. It nice. And they were taken out long before yeah, now. I think you're talking about the apocrypha, but 
I think you're talking about the Apocrypha. Not just the is, Apocrypha. Which is about no, it's not just the Apocrypha. Time. There's more books than the Apocrypha that were uh, abolished from the Bible. Alicia, this is a bad argument. You're smart. You're good. This is just a bad argument. It's not. Okay. No, I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. 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 I want it. Away from the religion. Yeah, we, we don't really need to argue about it, it at all. Yeah, no. Christ, in Christianity, yeah, yeah, we're good. Is a more, it is, is something a sin. square. Yeah. You will go to, John, will you go to purgatory? If you, Where do you yeah. go? Well, we, we saw, we, yeah, we, we we saw in the um, oh gosh, what was the name of that movie? Um, it, Dreams may come with, 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 with the night, um, Orlando oh. Bloom. And, oh, okay. um, oh, Kingdom of Heaven. His wife, his, he was a blacksmith, Blue. and his wife, his, oh. his wife killed herself. Oh, what a movie is this? I have to see it. What yeah, is it? It's not very accurate, um, but it's good. What? Oh, it sounds good though. Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the movie about? Yeah, it's called Kingdom the Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Orlando Bloom was in that. Only, I, I don't. I don't think only, I ever saw that movie all the way. Only watch the director's cut. Yeah. Do not watch better. the regular cut um, mm -hmm. because it okay. explains things that that are really needed to be explained. Yeah. Anyways, great movie. They won't bury her in consecrated okay. ground. Yeah, there's, there's, there's more than the very, apocrypha. It's about the I same do know time. what you're talking about when you say the apocrypha. It's about the same time frame, and it definitely said that she would be in hell. It's a so, lot earlier, actually. Um, it's in the 1300s. I'm not a... Kingdom of Heaven takes place in the 12, 1280, about 1280. This is 1600. Yeah. yeah. It's I'm, pretty I'm, late. Yeah, I'm not going to get into... No, it's just yeah, we don't need to argue whole, that point. Whole, we don't need to okay, argue the point. No, I'm saying so. We're good. I think right, yeah. I think what other people in the comments have been saying is that she considers herself Japanese first. Yeah, and she's like yes. a Christian, and we take. I hate to say it, but we all make our own rules. We say we're this, but we make a lot of rules. Yeah, that, but that's a I mean, but honestly, yeah, most that. if you were yeah. a Christian, very disciplined society, if you were a Christian, so. the idea of killing yourself. Is bad. And that the idea that you would go to hell would be absolutely terrifying. Mm -hmm. So no, I get that, but but that yeah. again is where, you, like you just uh, pointed out, Mariko from from day one has always said, "Yo, I understand how sometimes my faith may be in opposition to yeah. my country and my land, mm -hmm. but make no mistake, while I do love my faith, I am with." my land it, it, it's kind of like i don't know if y'all ever watched the uh, show c with jason momoa yo i stand with baba vast is basically what she's saying no i am here for my people yeah and First i agree with you alicia because she's being a human being she's contradicting her i agree with you 100 percent, alicia we don't need to argue about the religion part of it she's oh, a human no. she's, she's a human being i'm with you she's a christian but she's also a human being with her faults and contradictions so yeah, I just oh, bring well, it up because it's interesting. I'm sorry, I didn't want to Jackie, make a thing no, out of it. No, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying there, but it's yeah. just like at the same time, I it is to still it considered, um, you know, uh, it's co it's considered a sin, but it, it's not it's something that sin. would stop her because that is accepted in her culture. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, She's at a crossroads. I'm bringing up the, 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 the up paradox. I think is the big point. Yeah, martyring yourself was different. Yeah, it's it's different. Yeah. But it's, it's, it, this it's, it's, is where it's, it's I guess we're having like a culture clash, right? This what? is what it is: is that um, there's conflict. a definite culture clash <laughs> happening it's here. Clash. Yeah, it's interesting because she is a Christian, and then she's a, but she's also ruled by the laws of her land. So it's interesting. It, it's a contra It's mm -hmm. life. It's con full of contradictions. You know what I mean? Life is not a problem. It's a situation. You know, you got to figure it out. It, 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 it is very difficult for like a Western audience us... though to be able to. Uh, um, you know, like like Justin's saying, like there's always someone who wants to commit seppuku or what have you. Because not only are you committing yeah. suicide, it's a. I mean, for the women, it's not so it's bad. Honorable just, suicide. It's honorable. They cut their throats. Whereas the men, it's like deep. Uh, they only show the part of it, but I mean, it's absolutely gruesome. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not yourself. just a stab. Like if you've never actually studied the full thing, it isn't yeah. just it's William stab. Wallace no, it's type stuff. And it's William Wallace stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a stab, and then they break that blade across mm -hmm. their stomach, and you have to do this to yourself. And and I think everyone stubbed their toe or hit their shin <laughs> on something at some point in time. I mean, you I know how that feels. The, the pain of stabbing yourself. Stomach. I'd be like, I can't do that. Like, and, exactly. <laughs> and it, 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 to have to have the wherewithal and the 
the, the, the freaking j- just just formidable gall to ignore all of those pain factors and completely gut yourself and wrench a blade across the whole of your abdomen that that is ridiculously crazy to me. yeah it's funny it was, that's culture, culture. So, so i get it it's funny this is it, this is really interesting so silver scale is saying they cut their they, this is for the women they cut the throats but the legs <laughs> bound so you can't get away mm-hmm. to prevent the cowardice of running which is interesting yep. they would assume women would run uh which is so true especially like yeah. when you have someone like fuji who would assume do that because it. it's very sexist but yeah, yeah yo look Fuji if has you a baby in her hand Fuji, and she was gonna mm-hmm. do it yeah, I, I dare you. I dare you. Step over the line, Caroline. I dare you. No, I, I, Heidi, I've brought this up in episode that two that, that women they bind uh, for this. But all these things are things that are useful to society. I wonder how it's useful for them. Like Vikings thought they had to die in battle. That's I can see the, the logic of that, right? Because you're a warrior yeah. nation. You need people to fight. You think, what's the reward? Christianity is something that rewards good behavior, rewards being kind to one another. So there's always like a pra- practical level the religions you know what i mean like i don't understand the practical useful level of pulling out your small intestine and putting it on the scale they're like eight ounces you know what i mean like like the deboweing mm-hmm. and all that is crazy but i guess it's like a don't i guess it's it really reinforces don't fuck up at work but it seems like these people again on a it's... moment's notice they're pulling that sword out i fell down a hill uh no i'll get a rope hold on hold on oh, one like, minute it's it's 100 percent the uh crux of the author that brought us all together and why we are all here as cool friends nerding about uh, out about things george r R. martin consistently writes about man at odds with himself more so than man facing your other enemies i didn't know george consistently that that is what this is that that's what this is and (laughs) that's what when it comes to marco especially about this heidi you can say it's her at odds with her yeah. culture but she's not at odds with her culture she'll always choose that first she is also happens to be a christian mm-hmm. oh john go ahead sorry go ahead john i was gonna say have you talked about the james clavell writer and as far as the book itself he was a prisoner i brought that up he was a prisoner well, of war with the japanese i can't help but think that book isn't racist is it racist we we, we uh we did we talked you know about it, it very briefly sort of in our first live stream just that you know he wrote the source material and he himself yeah was a prisoner of war and uh is writing uh using real life historical figures uh like is it william adams that um uh, yeah. Black Thorn is based upon, and then he switches a few out. Yeah, and he switches some out. Like Tornaga is ba- based on e- Lee Sue, and um, I've never read the book. John, have you read the book? Yeah, I read the book and saw oh, the original series. And yeah, oh, least, okay. I mean, yeah. you got to remember this was in in the seventies, so this mm-hmm. is prime time. But <laughs> you would have been a baby then. But, hmm. Pretty close, but um, he wrote when he wrote the book. It turned into a series within three years. So I mean, it was pretty hot. You, yeah, and was, he was a producer. Uh, yeah. he was a written with, on the is, is it written with any spite or resentment? He was a prisoner of war. I'm actually asking. It seems like you wouldn't get the best, you know, what? depiction of Japanese people. Uh, I, I, That's I what's know. so I, I incredible. Like is you... I mean, seriously, ask him. Let me oh, ask him. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, go ahead, AK. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you read the book. I was I asking know, you. I, I'm, I I'm seriously like, asking. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. It, it was a book question. Like my 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 references for the show. So you know, g- give your book reference first, and I'll, I'll go after you. I didn't find it uh, offensive or demeaning, mm. um, especially considering we had just gone through you know Japanese internments, um, yeah, that, that's that sort I mean. of thing in the United States. Mm-hmm. Um, so Canada. I, I I think it was really well right here in Washington where I'm from. We have a, a now a fairground that was an internment camp so um mm, wow. just to let you know it's really really local for me that's why i'm seriously at asking, rate, it's hard to believe it didn't have some resentment in it it's beautiful I, that it I, didn't. I didn't find it i didn't yeah, find I'm it i'm not hoping for it i was just all. wondering I, you would think a prisoner I, of war i thought it was incredibly and and yeah he respects them detailed and accurate in in the mm-hmm. method that he wrote um he also wrote the fly i don't know if you know that um at all but I did, did not what? know that. No, wait, wait. The, the, the fly, like the yeah. Jeff fly? Yep. Oh, yep. I did yep. not know that. Interesting. And that was also that. made into a movie right away. God, I three this movies. Guy, this is gold. But I'm I've just saying. Seen, you, yeah. I saw the black and white movie years ago. So that was his That was his story. Like, And then later they did the uh, Jeff Goldblum one. 
Yeah, because if you just held a guy prisoner think, for a few um, years and he wrote a book, you'd be like, uh-oh. You know, usually it'd be like, that's not the best person to write the book for us. You know what I mean? Like, it's probably going to be bad for us, but it's amazing and beautiful that it's not. It's great. Yeah. Sarah, okay, I, think, I watched... Um, it was funny because I, when I was talking to Carlos, who did the costumes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I said to him, "Hey, did you watch the series when you were a kid?" He said, "No, but my parents did." And when they found out that I was offered the show, they were like, "Oh my god!" They were so excited, right? And because mm -hmm. John, I like you, I I was a little kid and I watched it with my parents, and I was saying. I had never seen, you know, I grew up on Anna Green Gables and Little House in the Prairie, that type of stuff. So when I had saw, when I saw it, oh, I did in Roots, which was, you know, um, mm -hmm. that Peter, or mm -hmm. sorry, um, you have to, you have to tell me who the author of that is. I know it, but I, it's Benchley. not off the top of my head. Sorry, who? Um, see, Benchley. Roots. Go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, for, 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 we're talking about form, the series. Sure. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For, from the serious point of view, I think uh, you actually you absolutely see that um, that a, a bit of you know, warring with themselves with Blackthorn because you know by Thank the you. Uh, a end of episode eight he comes in and you know he he's given the chance he's told finally again where his men are. There's only like six of them left. We don't know how. The, all, all the other men uh, disappeared or... Hope you didn't or, eat the stew. Ride, I'm just joking. We don't know. Yeah. But he, there, there's six of them left. And he gets into an argument with, with one of them. You know, first he actually tries to run away. Uh, uh, once he actually gets up there, you know, he starts having cold feet, second thoughts. And he's been asking for, you know, his ship and his men for how long, which... Uh, bro, those were never your men or your shit. Just saying, you were the pilot. That don't mean you were in charge. Um, but after that, he goes back, and this is after he's gotten his discharge papers, mind you. And I love the way Mariko put that. It's like you know, here, you know, my lord wanted to give you this as like a parting gift, you know, because hey, we know you don't really even want to be here with us anyway. So you know, just go on ahead and roll out. You know, like my my death is coming. Some of my people's death is coming. You don't need to be here for that. So peace out. It's been real, and he, he he's almost offended that he's been dismissed. But then he goes and and he's told where his people are at, and he gets there, and this guy is is half abusing. Uh, uh, a courtesan. So he's about to turn around and walk away, but then the dude recognizes him, and he starts talking shit after that. And Blackthorn, I don't think he killed him, but he basically beat beat him to to uh, unconsciousness. And then he went back to the Lord. It's like you know what? I I know I don't belong in Japan. I I get it, but I I don't. After everything I've experienced and seeing how your people really are. I don't think I belong with, with, with those assholes that I came here with either. So I'm trying to forge my own way. Um, would you please accept me back into the fold? Yeah, that was Tornaga being really smart. Those I, people are not going to accept well, him. He's been treated yeah. like a king. They've been in prison. I mean, oh, that, Blackthorn, yeah. yeah. And that's and that's on that's that's on his part. And and yeah, Black Blackthorn, he does finally see these people in your experiences have made a positive change on you. And he, again, every time that something has happened, he's tried to fall back on, you know, you know, my, me and your Lord had in the court. It, it's not somebody else's Lord. This is your Lord now. The only reason you're mm -hmm. even still alive now is because of this man. You know that. And you still keep trying. He's still trying to, to figure out ways of his path. And how he's going to, you know, pull him into a war, you know, let, let's fight our enemy together. No, that there's bigger shit going on, dude. Yeah. And you've and been being freedom. selfish the whole time. And I think here is where he really starts to come to terms with that. Mm -hmm. And he starts uh, making different moves, which leads to some interesting things in episode eight. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research now because uh, a few people have mentioned in the chat that apparently Alex Haley might have plagiarized uh, Bruce. Oh, boy. I looked it up, too. It is Alex Haley, but they didn't Here, say Oh, my oh. goodness. Um, it was really I've, weird I've because... I've never completely read the whole book of Roots, but I do know his yeah. story, and I've watched both of the series. So they think that y'all are thinking that he took that from this experience apparently it's been yeah apparently it's there's something i was gonna say it was interesting hmm. today though the actor who played kuta kinte in roots i just saw him on social Jordan media LaForge. today 
Uh, sorry, not Kunta Kinte. Yeah. His father. Yeah, Who's the father? Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 from from Good Times. Good Times. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. I no, just no, saw no, him no, on. No, I just saw him on social media today. I'm like, oh my god, he's still alive, and he looks exactly the same. He has not aged at all. <laughs> I'm he like, was the, Simpson, he was actually the older, the older Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte is the dad, from, from is the dad right? Who who gives birth to Jordi uh, LaForge? Behold. Behold. No, no, no. K no, Kunta Kinte is Jordi LaForge. Oh, Jordi LaForge is Kunta Kinte, and then the dad yes. is is the actor from Good Times. Okay, the, 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 dad, the dad from no, the dad from Good Times was the older Kunta Kinte. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, so Jordi I, LaForge is the young version, and then the actor. Okay. Oh my. Yes. Lord. Confirmation on Alex Guys, Haley here. Apologies. Yeah, I got the apologies. Go it's okay. been like for fifty years. <laughs> James Amos, yes, that's his name. Thank you, Vincent. I could not remember that man's name for the life John, of me. It's been John, what year is it's been a while? Time. Please. Ro and, uh, Roots and... was out when I was a child. Oh my lord! Actually, I, I think before floor. I was a child, it was in like the late seventies when Roots actually came out. I was born in nineteen eighty. Yeah, and then and then because then you know uh, I think uh, eighty four I think is when they did the Shogun with um, the, the next. The, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that it's so funny right. because Richard Chamberlain, who played the you know Blackthorn in Shogun and was also okay. in mm -hmm. in oh my gosh in uh what was the Australian one John the priest Where, uh, Crocodile the Dundee. Stormbirds the priest oh. in the, in the oh. outback yes, yeah, still my heart. Ones, yeah. oh my gosh and and uh yeah that was well, like well, a what he, get what to part, part of Bruce was lady. plagiarized from the African by Harold Corlander and this <laughs> oh, was settled in 1978 so yeah, oh, so I have they, heard that. It settled. This is settled. I have heard that. The internet. It was settled in 1978. This is the New York Times. If you can trust yeah. that. Yeah, John Amos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, they they settled. He he took some because he read a book and he got inspired. That's what happens. You work off mm -hmm. the shoulders of others. It's like, oh my God, he didn't think of that all himself. God forbid. What a fake. I mean, um, well, no, 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 that no, that's that's important. That is important. No, you got to put acknowledge sources. Yeah, it is. No, he did. So they settled it. They settled it without going all the way. Yeah. So they I, I do remember hearing that. I, my question is, how old is this chat? Like, you guys all seem to know all of these references. Yeah. Which concerns me. You're like, I bet Alex Haley. <laughs> no, I, no I, I think we no, I think we are all just uh casual. You guys are like really history. old. Like no, I I and I'm like I can park now at in the seniors. Uh, I'm actually allowed to park in the seniors <laughs> section of the drugstore. I mean, okay, so see, how are we going to have? Are how really are we going to have all me? these cool nerd references <laughs> if we don't know like the world well, around? Like we are old. Jeez, like is there? Okay, I mean, like, we are all like, old, right? <laughs> if you're born like after 1980, please raise your hand. I'm going to send you a prize. <laughs> 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 it's so funny because i have this one video where i have it's it's really weird i it's mostly men who respond to me on it but they're all like in their 60s and 70s and i'm like what's going on here why am i getting <laughs> such old people but anyway you guys are awesome why are they at the library what are they doing oh here oh <laughs> and Lena's in just... 1980s oh, 1980 wait, baby. oh my god Lena, i am, I am also life. a 1980 baby Yes. You're reading you're reading reading reading. One, like, one out of five things I say, this is a fun please. fact, is a lie. So look into it. And it's a fun Lena, game. I, Lena, I'm going to send you a prize. Uh, seriously. Like, um, if you can send me a private message, I will send you. Oh my God. Mina's 90, a 90s baby. Mina's a 90s baby. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. Me, 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 Mina's been in like me, me and me. Jackie's after uh, 19, 1980. Yeah, this is still. Me. No, if you're born after Wait, 1980, after you're not old. Are you serious, you're, Jackie? You're not what? old. Uh, Carl's what? Y2K. So luckily the, uh, at the end of the world didn't happen when you were born. What? what? Right. Right. <laughs> in, in, my my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, Heidi, hear me out. Carl was born. The world did end. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. let's bring it back real quick. Um, there there was a small uh, was reference to this anime is, is in the chat earlier, and if y'all would like to see how brutal some anime stories can be, check out that link I just dropped right there. Uh, the homie CJ the Champ, he will break it down it, it, like a fraction for you. It, it he, and you'll enjoy how he. I'm presents terrible at fractions. The first anime. You, you don't got to worry about that because the way he presents it, you will get the, you will get the gist automatically. Trust me. 
<laughs> Justin. I'm joking. Um, joking. Uh, excuse me, ma- ma'am. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't act like you haven't been here in prior discussions. Don't do that. <laughs> it's a good bet, though. Like, imagine watching this stream and hearing something I say. Be like, I bet that's bullshit. They usually yeah, natural is one being mean to Justin. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. we're all friends. What happens Come on, when let's you be nice. Me, I become a it's like WWE, WWF wrestlers over here. Yeah. It is. They're all we're, buddies. We're all all yeah, y'all, yeah. Didn't, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't even know that it was called WWF in the oh, beginning. Oh, Justin's not mean to everyone. Justin's lovely to me. Justin, don't <laughs> listen to what Jackie said. Why not? Heidi, be quiet. That's what Jackie said. Jackie's right. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> that's my brand. Not so hot to be quiet. You take yeah. all right. Out of Where are we at here? Where are right. we at here? You're, you're, you're the host, man. I'm, the, I'm drinking the Canadian syrup. Okay. Uh, what should we talk about the next? Canadian syrup. I don't know. Let's lie some more. Is that is that like we a could. old name for something that we don't know about? Okay. <laughs> Justin didn't see the last episode, so I don't want to spoil it for him. But it's oh, okay, yeah. wait, okay, yeah. See, I have to ask because I usually don't care about spoilers either. Like if I haven't watched something and I still come through Oops. for the panel, I'm here for the discussion no matter what. <laughs> Order in the court, right, Vincent? <laughs> get, get the gavel. <laughs> Where's the gavel, John? Lower the gavel. Mm-hmm. Dun dun. Yeah, this is easy. John. Well, I believe it's law and order. Spoiled. Did you know yeah. that Boku yeah, yeah. Boku that that math thing is named after that what's it called the the, the ritual suicide? It, so oh, it's cool. Super yeah. cool. Yeah, so no, it's, it's not. See what I just did there? I lied. Cool. No, you I lied. lied. Yes. I lied. No, what, what did you say? I didn't. I didn't hear what you said before that. What did Sudoku you say? Sudoku is named after Sabokuku or whatever it's called. Did you say uh, Sudoku? That's a completely different Sudoku. word. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the trying. Math thing. You're, I'm lying. You're I'm, gaslighting us. No, if you just want to keep people on their toes. 50% of his statistics are <laughs> half wrong. Okay, 80% Jackie, of the time, wrong. It don't make time. sense as okay. a puzzle, though, sir. Stop it. No, we're not going to tell everybody what happened then in episode eight because Jackie I, I hasn't seen, seen it. it Justin hasn't seen I mean, it. I don't want to spoil okay, it. Okay, wait. Guys, no, hold on. Hold on. No, uh, I would like to overrule that, though. Wait, uh, can we take a, a consensus vote? Uh, Justin, do you care about these spoilers, though? I don't care. I bet I already know what happens. Great that's, that's what I'm saying because because you you still here you agreed to be on the panel and you didn't yeah. get to finish that episode. Jackie hasn't seen it. Jackie, do He's actually put watching your it while we're, while we're I mean, Jackie, Jackie hasn't seen it, but Jackie's still here. Jackie still here. Oh, I could she, write a book. If she wanted to leave and didn't so want much. spoilers, she would have left. You guys are left. so kind. Silver Silver Thank you so much. Well, let's stop screaming at each other. We see y'all. Okay. Silver scale. Wait, we're not screaming at each other. What would you mean? Everybody needs to calm down. Number one, I could write a book about things Jackie C doesn't know. Bam, right there. Okay, um, quiet, everybody. <laughs> quiet in the court. I have to quiet acknowledge Silver Scale. Yes, quiet yes. in the court. Silver Scale has given us a $10 super chat. I'm going to have to like send you guys like bottles of wine. Love y'all nice. and this chat. That is all. Oh, thank you so much. Aww, that is so lovely. So we heart you too. Yeah, we uh, big heart Heidi, you. actually, speak, speaking of sending uh, prizes, Heidi, please, yes. please remember that uh, we need to chat about a prize that we never sent. Okay. Um, oh, did you get? Here. Did someone message you about it? Same no, no. I, I I actually just found it in my old uh, show okay. notes. Okay. Oh, people are asking for no spoilers. So let's not spoil. I don't right, want to spoil yeah. it for them. Yeah. Let's talk about Fallout. I like that show actually. Okay. Oh, I'll be right on. back. <laughs> so, so, so hold on, man, because these are important things that happen in episode eight, though. Oh my god, it becomes Tokyo, and it's all good. Leave me alone. It becomes Tokyo. I'm so sick of this fucking Look, show. Everybody dies. I, I, I don't want to be here. I don't here's a fun house no, of the here's, dragon. Here's People a are fun. like, what happens in House of the Dragon? I'm like, everybody dies. Yeah. Here, here's a fun <laughs> chat room, uh, <laughs> chat room game y'all could play. Look, go look back on uh panels that me and Justin have been on together and seen some random uh sidebar things he said, and I've just been like, shut up, Justin, as the reply. I guarantee you, I, I'll give you a freebie on that one. Uh, my my, my birthday stream from two years ago. Well, actually, I, I believe that was the first stream that we that uh, all of us collectively. All right, I didn't know had, this was uh, be a uh, Nikki about, from uh, uh, Thousand Eyes and One on for that stream. Listen, if this is going to be uh, a trial of my character, I won't be a part of it. It's a kangaroo a trial court. of your character. How do we kangaroo court? See? And I won't be doing it. See, all right? H- Heidi set this bomb off, and then she just ran away. Okay, natural yeah, sexual just, happens at the end of the I'll tell you what, Rose gets out of a big problem. Oh. She uh, gets to go to New York. Rose, who is Rose? What are you talking about? Titanic. She asked what happens at the end of Titanic. Rose solves a little problem. She had a little flame. Rose, uh, at, at, the, at the end of, at the end of yeah, Titanic, uh, for one minute. At the end of Titanic everyone analyzes 
the strength of the door that Rose was care. holding on to. And We're we all now wonder why the fuck Jack couldn't hold on to the door. I'm too. trying to tell you if you can be quiet for a minute. It's because if you show up in New York with Jack, you've got a problem. Because he's a poor dude Why? that you can't be hanging out with, all right? And he played poker to get on the boat. He's not from your class. He had her fling. Have you or been to wasn't New York, big sir? Enough. Listen, she was rich. He was not. Now it all works out. It was probably a nice that, No, relief. no. It no. doesn't matter. I, yes, I, I am asking you this as a native New Yorker. Have you no. been to New York? <laughs> It don't matter if you yes. show up poor, bro. If you know how to play the game, you can get by. And Jack clearly knew how to play the game because he got him and his friends tickets on that ship. Uh huh. The ship that sunk. That's his claim to fame. That's a real good deal. It it, that, that, that's that's beside it's, the point. I got, go, I got my to friends go, tickets to no, the Titanic. To, to go, no, to go along with, with the narrative that you just spun there. It does How not matter. Would it it would have been so awkward for her to show up with him in New York. Why would it have been awkward? Because Look, he was I'm poor. telling you, the I'm whole telling movie you. was about how he was poor, Alicia. He wasn't part of the class. It's it's a joke. It's the whole point of the I have, when he was at dinner. I have and they're been all like, poor you're not in New yet. York. Ugh. And and you know, you know what? I, I have a lot of family and friends that have been poor in New York and we still get by. And you know what happened? We started from the bottom, now we're here. Yes, I know, Alicia. You know I'm joking. You've seen the if you can movie. make it in New York, you can make scene. it anywhere. So Jeez. nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that judgment from you. Okay, it's a cool nah, the New York the, the, the Brooklyn in me will not take nah. that judgment from you, sir. God, I forgot I was talking New Yorker. They only Isn't say that New York a about mm -hmm. showing up yeah, exactly poor in Try New York me. and becoming rich. Yeah, Try I'm sure it is in Nagosa here. Okay, I'm sure Jack would have <laughs> got all the way to the top, and I'm sure it would have been fine. Um, no, it's I'm not like saying Tom he would have got to the top. I'm saying to he's top. a hustler, and he would have been okay. Oh, my God. I'm just, Leech, be quiet for one minute. The, the dinner didn't go well. That's the whole point <laughs> of the fucking movie, is that everybody was like, hey, you're from a low class, because they're idiots. That's a whole joke. You guys Alicia. talking about Titanic? What is I'm talking about here? How, I'm I still about yeah, how like, Blame Rose your boy, okay? Blame your boy. Alicia's trying to, like, argue with me about Titanic. That would be so fun. Fucking what, not chat room, no. Nah, di didn't Justin start this conversation? How was it my fault? Because I told the truth. <sighs> God, I, well, with your optimistic views, Alicia, anybody can make it. I'm sure it would have been fine, but in real life, it would have been a fucking problem. And it was you are damn lie uh, because again, I am a New Yorker. This this is my real life. Oh my God. Okay, so I just want to check in. There's a couple of things. One, uh, are we done talking about Shogun? A few people are asking. Because if we are, uh, I wanted to say that we will do a finale. Episode, oh, wow. probably, and maybe oh, Tony will come back. Out, we can ask Tony to come back yes, and he yes. can tell us about. I, I, I can I can text Tanya if right Justin now. Justin isn't here. Oh, I'll Tanya. come back. Go. Will you guys all come back? Wait, how, many, how many episodes? How many episodes do we have to do? Two. There's two more, but we're we can we were talking about maybe doing a one on um, Fallout and then on next because you're you're busy next Thursday, right, Alicia? Yes. Well, oh, well, making a mistake. Can, making a can we can we can we put a can we put a pin in that until Monday at least? I will know. Sure. Sure. I thought anything was possible in New okay. York. Alicia, is there a problem here? Is you damn right, oh, no, Jackie. <laughs> uh, which is why I said <laughs> okay, put a pin yeah. in it until just, Monday, and I would just need information. And also, oh. I'm in Ohio, bruh, right now. Oh, Thank oh you. I forgot it. It was oh, New York. Are? Okay, it was New so, York. No, I'm in West heavily. Time right was it now. in New York very heavily a few minutes ago, but it's Ohio now. Yeah, I, guess, I, I guess I didn't say I was in New York. I said yeah. you talking to a New Yorker. Pay attention, yeah. different. Oh, yeah. okay. So, thank you, thank you, Uncle AU. Thank you. My bad, Cleveland. My bad. Why is John Uncle A U now? <laughs> you, okay, well, okay. See, hold on, hold on. So first of all, first of all, no, 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 me, no. You said no, let me, costume code? No, listen, she listen, let me pull the receipts, though. okay? Like like you said, <laughs> Heidi, yes, John has been around in our Game of Thrones family community for many a moon since oh, a lot yeah. of us all started, and I will claim. <laughs> And I think this is 100% true. He can correct me if I'm wrong. But between me, you, and Justin, I have known him the longest. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I, I regard him as Uncle AU because that's 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 my chat room uncle. Like, that's that's the homie. It's like it's like uh, Lady Val. I know some of y'all uh been in my chats with uh, Lady Val comes in. I always <laughs> regard Val as uh, my, my chat room auntie because that's my chat room auntie. She's always there supporting me in the background saying, hey, yo, girl, I, I, I see. I know you got some issues, but you got this, okay? The people is here. I'm here supporting you, and and that that is what a AU does. So I call him Uncle AU. Yeah, Vincent wrote. Uh, Luna Cascade is like I super chatted this. No shotgun. 
Yeah, no. Um, this is Shogun. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is, I'm sorry, yeah. guys. You don't really get what you pay for on the our streams. Well, this is the big plan. That was a lie. I ahead. think yeah. they get exactly what they paid for we'll on the two streams. hours of maybe an hour and a half of, of two hours content. of shenanigans <laughs> and love. Okay, then fine. I'll finish up on out to great things. Let me ask these questions. What's happening? How's it going to end? How's it going to end in two episodes? I'm confused and I'm a little bit angry now. Those are my. Well, you haven't. Topics. You haven't seen the last episode. I've Justin, seen so everything but can't, 15 you minutes. Can't, you didn't. Understand. You haven't. You don't have a wholesome okay, like, hold experience. On. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. So you, you said you said you have seen everything of episode eight except for 15 minutes. Yeah, I don't. Continue. Where did you? Where Where did you cut off on episode? I, know, I eight? fell asleep. My point is, I've been frustrated with the show. <laughs> that is not helpful, <laughs> young man. How yeah. you gonna ask these questions? But you can't okay. give us the proper parameters. Okay. I thought at. anything that I missed was going to clear up I just up want to explain issues. to the chat that mm, I never promised going. that this would be quality content, okay? Yeah, I never we'll promised that. It. Excuse I me, put... ma'am. I, I think, um, I I think that everyone in the chat the room would disagree. If you came here and you're expecting good quality content, I, I don't know what to tell you. That is a lie. That is a lie. Costume Co. <laughs> consistently, 100% and <laughs> always, Produces. gives quality content on <laughs> her <laughs> videos. <laughs> And her live streams, which is why I said so whenever she that. sends the raven and calls the I banners, AK will always show up to support our lady of well, costumes. Alicia's so like a I would to disagree. Me, so I wouldn't take her point. testimony on okay? this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> you yeah, won't we, take we, my we testimony said, on what? What? Wait. Why are you I not taking like my testimony on this? So don't listen well, to you. You're going to obviously say nice things about me. It's killing my ear. Okay. So I support my supporting my friends is a bad thing. Okay. Usually. Yeah. We're all bad people. Lies. Get with the Chaos is a ladder. As, this is uh, a New York. Says. Come on. But uh, no, yeah, but anyways, cool. um, about that, though, we promise to entertain, not inform. Don't be okay, an idiot. Okay, yeah, that's that's what yeah, we do. Don't we be an idiot. Don't inform. Oh, you came, here. Oh, you came here for information? Good luck this on life. Fake good news. Luck. Yeah, good good call. Okay, okay. Hey, you, you know what? Up. Look, this this might be one one of the few times I may agree with, with Carl. Yo, chaos is a ladder. <laughs> and I feel like everybody is here still in the chat room because they love our chaos so i don't i don't understand these yeah when tony was things. here we were just yelling at each other it was just like we were I'm all not happy yelling. right now i'll be clear I'm okay and like everyone and, wait hold on yeah I, do, do y'all justin do you remember yelling on that stream i you remember being irritated right now right now i'm irritated i'm getting irritated everybody needs to shut up for a minute and calm down and let's just fucking talk about something let's talk about fallout i'm getting sick of this let's do it let's calm down let's stop screaming about cleveland new york or wherever the fuck i'm from who cares okay and let's just do this cleveland. john's in, in ohio god i hate it all all right he's in ohio hey, 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 wait. john you're in ohio oh, right? hey, you, what, what, no, when john, did you move to ohio Washington. AK oh, is in Ohio. Washington. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, if you've I'm seen John's previous I mean, have, have you been hitting a little too much of uh, no. the uh, of Uncle yeah. Gaffer's brew? The maple. No. <laughs> the maple. Hey, Ohio, just, not, Ohio just got a beautiful seat. Passion is not AU. yelling. Yeah. I can on a t-shirt, Luna. That's amazing. I can't Passion speak for yelling. the whole of Ohio, but I can speak for um, Franklin County. And and my city that I'm I live in, in work for. That's Jackie it. C. I am Jackie I'm in C. space. Yeah. We. <laughs> Yo, C, I, I like space. Bad. Like I consistently live you in the multiverse. So you guys are so funny. Good. We yeah, have the best chat ever. Yeah, the you're funny. Okay, Heidi, you lead the charge. Yeah. That's why we're no. all here. Alicia, you're funny. <laughs> okay, am all I? right. Let's time out, everyone. Time out. Jesus what Christ. are we doing here? <laughs> Should okay. we talk about? Fallout. 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 But John hasn't seen it. John, have you seen it? Wait, wait, John. What what show did you just say? What? Swords? Have, John, okay. have you seen Fallout? No, I just said, so there's these swords. You know, we were talking about Shogun earlier. Yes. And, I uh, liked it. Anyway. You're talking about the, the we, katanas we totally... and, and the wagasakis? <laughs> yes. You got some balls. The short on swords and the long swords. swords. Like, no, no, no. He br he brought that up. I feel like because Sorry. he knows I'm I into these damn weapons them. and I know their names. <laughs> Alicia's dressed in. Uh, as a Luna says we're in a pocket dimension. Yeah, I think you had. I, think I, I mean, that's possible. Was the very first, the first episode I've ever seen you on on a live stream. Okay. <sighs> did I have Did I have my katana out? Wait, what was that? That's a good question. Uh, uh, sorry, I Heidi. So. He, you know, John has me in a headspace now. W what was the first? Uh, stream you saw me on that that is very curious to me i think i met well, you that's a really good question Justin. because you were on <laughs> sorry go ahead Heidi. oh i was gonna say i think i met you at justin's birthday stream oh, 
God damn it. That sounds accurate. Uh, Just me, okay. okay I, I, I'm, I'm getting a little I, bit frustrated. Everybody's yelling. Everybody's a little bit tense. I'm getting pissed. I've had anxiety. We're, we're not, I want to get smooth. I'm yelling. sick of everybody yelling. We're, we're talking we're too yelling. much, and that's for me. Can, can everyone sell down. Justin digi hugs in the chat, please? I don't we're need not yelling. Anybody. I need nobody's affection. I care for none of you. I want some that attention. That is a lie. Let's do that this. is a I lie. I love you all. I love you all. Girl, all right? and I, I'm not I'll drinking rum and diet you, Coke. If, I haven't had. I, I no. I'm drinking who drinks rum and diet Coke. Hi to you. This is what I want to happen. I want you to say a topic, and I want us to go around from John to AK to me and give our opinion. And Are you we, saying I'm a terrible? We, no, 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 because we need we control. We need control. We need control. We literally just had a topic, though. We, we were about to speak on a topic. What is it? The we, first we stream you're on? That's not a topic. No. <laughs> what, what, what are we talking about? Bad. Let's do a topic. Bad. Let's wrangle Just, it up. Okay. How about we stop talking you, about Shogun, up. and then we talk about Justin really is dying, 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 dying to talk about uh, uh, Fallout. Mm -hmm. Justin, would you like to talk about Fallout? I haven't seen it yet. You're lying. <laughs> I know you've seen it. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear anything either because I don't want to get spoiled. You have seen it. We. I don't want to get spoiled. Don't. Leave hold, hold on. No. 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 You don't. No. Nah, you don't get a pass on that. This man done stopped the whole conversation that we no. was having. <laughs> talking about no. Let's talk about Fallout or something else. And then we bring up Fallout, and he has no words, sir. Every I said one out of every five things I say. John Vince is a big fan. A lot of of I love you. That was lied to. You know what I mean? I love I don't, I you. You know I love you. So, okay. So, anyways, I love everybody Lord. here. To be clear, I love you, Alicia. <laughs> okay. And I and I love I love Uncle, no, Uncle A. You would like to respond to the That's chat, so Justin? True. I get that all the time. Shh. Okay, shh, everybody. Go ahead, Uncle A. You. I got you. So what? If, I didn't see Fallout, so I have no idea. Have you? Do you have any uh, knowledge, even of the game of Fallout or the the, the the I mini game Fallout Shelter? No. Uh, okay. Sarah yeah. has I would, already watched all eight episodes of Fallout. I I I I've watched only about like half. Um, it, I would say, uh, Uncle AU, if you would, um, go, I don't know if you have a Amazon uh Prime uh account, sure. but if you do, uh, check out uh Prime Video and look up Fallout. It is based on the world of video game that is by uh, Bethesda Games, and it, it's it, it's very fun. I think uh, the way they handled okay. some of the uh, you know post apocalyptic uh, situations are very interesting. With uh, you know the vaults and like collecting caps and getting away from these weird different uh, mutated monsters is uh, pr pretty cool. I had high hopes once I saw the trailer for this show, and Amazon did not disappoint. They didn't, I know, they really, I know. People have been down on Amazon Prime because of how um, the Rings of Power turned out. Mm -hmm. I didn't, and, I, I didn't dislike it as as much as as some other folks did. Yeah, um, I, I I very much enjoyed the Wheel of Time, and I very I for what I've seen of Fallout, I really have enjoyed. Uh, me and Meeks, I know are going to cover it at some point. Also, you know, open invite uh, Justin Heidi to come. Uh, oh yeah, Alicia, yeah, I got some news us. for you. Welcome Guess what? Us. I also loved it. I absolutely love that. You said you didn't watch it, liar. I'm joking. I'm trying <laughs> to make everybody <laughs> calm down. Listen, if you want to have a common denominator, get everybody to hate me, I can take it. It's fine. Did you, did you Justin, you before you say anything. That Justin is right now, y'all? You see this? What? Justin, before you say anything, I want to just let John know, just because we want to encourage John to watch it, that John is the same showrunners as Westworld. Oh, so he, it's Jonathan Nolan me. and Lisa Joy. I thought you said you Robin, wanted me to watch it. Yeah, that's we want you to. Picture. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, all right, all right, all right. But it was written by Satan. Not, well, yeah, no, I, but I Westworld was the a first dress rehearsal three for this. Of Westworld, and that was it. Yeah, and then, but Heidi, uh, the thing is, it's their redemption run, and I think they've really it knocked is a redemption. Out of the park. Uh, also, they did the a good three, job in Peripheral. Peripheral, yeah, I really well, enjoyed. They're doing good. Well, um, um, the three body problem, also, we're, we're Dan and Dave doing a good job, too. I love three body problem. Yeah, yeah, Dan and Dave were in a three body problem. chance with Fallout, I had really high expectations. I think they handled, they, I've only watched episode one. I think they should have waited mm -hmm. week by week, uh, even Me though I, I, because yeah. that that encourages True. more, I uh, agree with that. you know, discourse about it, and it encourages like more Facts. fandom. Uh, it, it's it's I'm happy they released it because I don't make videos on my own channel anymore, so I'm not a greedy little bastard. I'm not like, I wish I, I mean, could have still this though. More. Yeah, I don't care though. But like, I because I, I hate. You know, I if you bad. call the banners, me and Heidi gonna be there. Come on I now. No, but I'm a bad person when I'm on 
screen. You are not there. a bad person. Uh, so. <laughs> if I talk on camera for so Stop. long, that's going to have me saying stuff and it's not going to be good. But anyways, no, I really liked it. And I, and they introduce, don't you me, Uncle John. I don't know you. Um, Seth mm -hmm. has been on this mm -hmm. panel for two hours talking. Yeah, no, but it's great. It's great. It's really, it's, um, I think that you didn't have to play the game and I'm loved. I'm in love with the game. The game was like Facts. literally lifesaver for me. I was going through a transitional period. Um, I was getting myself clean three months of playing fallout. Got me clean. It's not even a joke. Like, like I just played. I believe fallout. You know what? Yeah. yeah. I changed like seven I years see. ago. I was, I was stopping being a DJ and I, I, I played fallout for three months straight. And I, and I, I, one day I was like, Oh, I'm good again. And I've been good since. So like, it, it, I it did anything, heard... yeah, maybe, I mean, obviously another... I drink. Second season of a video game movie starts with an H. Um, that just Halo? Halo, Halo. 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 Jack's yeah, Halo. That. He really just likes that. Yeah, me, me, and me, me and Meeks awesome. will be covering Halo in another couple weeks. Yeah. An interesting conversation to have is the renaissance of video game movies because our video game TV shows because we've had uh, The Last of Us, which was mm -hmm. the, the there been a great, spectacular, the Lady Lady Bear and Oberyn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about like a new level. I think people are giving it the respect. A new deserve. era. Yeah, and they're not trying to tell the because Fallout has a story in it, but that's not the story that's applicable for a series. They're using the world and they're staying true to the Fallout world yes. and telling their story within it. That's smart storytelling. Mortal Kombat, they're like, what do you want to do? They're like, Mortal Kombat. You know, they did Mortal Kombat. <laughs> not great. It's not yeah. great. It's stupid. You know I, I mean? It wasn't great, but part one is good. still a classic. I yeah, read this article about um, John, Jonathan Nolan, and actually it was interesting because when I was reading, like doing research on Westworld, and he was saying that he used video games mm -hmm. as like kind of his research for Westworld even. So when he approached the uh, the video game designers, they originally they didn't want anybody to adapt it because they thought it would be terrible. Mm -hmm. But when they met with him and he sort of presented his ideas to them they're like because he was a huge gamer mm -hmm. like he is mm -hmm. so they're like oh my god you actually get this game this is amazing and i'm gonna say i'm everyone knows here i think that i'm not a gamer i'm not into gaming at all but like i've only watched the first episode the trailer itself the teaser the trailer everything was like i love it was enough to draw you in Oh yeah, the aesthetic, like the 1950s mm -hmm. sort of aesthetic, and the you know the the nuclear fallout and all that thing. Um, yeah. And then um, there's another show actually that's also on Apple where they do they mash up like because it's sort of an alternative reality, right? It's not our world um, because they have like robots, I think, mixed in with the 1950s. That's sort yeah, of thing. So, yeah. for the good of all mankind, or yeah. Something something like that is that it there's another there's a show on apple tv I think, I think where the guy is selling obviously. he's selling like uh play, he's selling spots on the moon for people to go up into a rocket and they can have like well, a that's little just house elon musk, Heidi. that's just elon musk uh mm -hmm. but it's in the 1950s and they have robots and everything and flying cars really? i'm not sure what that is i'm gonna look it it's with billy billy yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Put up. just report back on that please i'm gonna yeah. look that up yeah and anyway so when i saw that i was like oh this is really this is kind of a cool I, like the aesthetic the design everything i loved it immediately so john nice. i don't know if you've seen the trailers or anything but so i think if you're not a, a, a video game person like myself, like even The Last of Us, totally wonderful world building. Great yeah, world you don't need building. to play the game for The Last of yeah, Us. Yeah, great writing. Um, anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm totally Great writing, sold. great casting also. The cast. Like, who's the actor who plays the ghoul? That's um, Walter Goggins. Ian. Walter Goggins. Uh, that yeah, guy is yeah. in so many shows. He He's has amazing. been in so many things. Right. And I Hello never tomorrow. remember Thank his you guys. name. Thank but you. I Hello recognize tomorrow. his face yeah, all he, the time. Hello tomorrow. Yes. Listen yeah, to this. He started on the thing. shield. He started on the shield and they tried to kick him off the show. Oh, he's a great he's character so actor. They thought he wasn't good. He was Shane on the shield. He was Vic Mackey's uh, uh, Michael Boy, Chiklis. I've seen adversary. him in so the many shield, things. The shield is yeah. a show nobody Vince talks about. said Uncle Baby Sopranos. Billy. They talk about yeah, Sopranos. Just, they talk about that. They don't talk about He's one of those character actors and he always usually plays a bad guy or whatever. Yeah. But already we're kind of we were presented with somebody who is very, uh, you know, layered. Uh, there's yeah, a lot of layers going on there, right? Not proud of Hello Tomorrow. Is that what you're talking Hello about? Hello Tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's yes. the one with Billy Crudup. It's like, where they... um, what's his name? Uh, uh, um, what was it? Uh, uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. Uh, he he was uh very much cast type as a lot of different like uh mexican slash yeah, Asian. Indian, yeah, yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah. Well, uh, stand, stand and deliver i think was his actual breakout role uh way way back Not in like, like 70s early 80s 
La Bamba. Was he in La Bamba? Yeah, he was oh. La Bamba. They're like, let's get an Indian. Yeah, yeah he was La which, Bamba. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, wait. Which La Bamba, it, it, I think, is the question. Because the La Bamba that I know, Lou Diamond Phillips was not in. That was a dancer. Um, oh, damn it. I forget his name. But it was it, he. they look similar, but it wasn't Lou Diamond Phillips. The one I, I think, know, it, I think his name Phillips. was uh, like Shabadoo in, in well, that. I yeah. know, I'm sure they made I, more than it, one. But it, you it's 87. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, there, there, yeah, there, there, there's been several, several of uh, those type what of a movies. Terrible song. It's the 19. Terrible song. Is Lou movies. Diamond Phillips. Yeah. What did you <laughs> say? What I remember. That's fun though. Like, here's this terrible song. Let's do eight fucking movies about it. But um, right. so, I mean, and that's like um, oh boy from Westworld. Uh, you know the the actor that plays uh Akechita. He he's <laughs> also can, been yes. in several movies and tv yeah. shows usually as like the staple in charge native american character yeah well at least they're getting it right oh, yeah yeah like for, for what is i mean very very yes, true that, that's one of the reasons that i really enjoyed uh the echo series on disney plus because they took it into that culture and he uh, uh, there, there's a lot of those and uh, i oddly enough there's a lot of twilight connections that go with the characters in that movie, the actors more so. Ooh, I love Twilight. I the last was one. Interesting. They had the Norwegian <laughs> vampires, the, the Irish. It's vampires. it's funny because well, the uh, lore is cool. It was good. The lore it's is really cool. it's weird because um, uh, hero uh, hero Sonata is in Westworld playing a Ronin, um, and then he's now in in Shogun playing Tornaga, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, and obviously and he was, he's, too, he was yeah. also. A, yeah, so I, I was I thought that was really cool. And he was in and the last the Samurai. Mortal Kombat. And he was in the, the last, last Samurai. Was he in the last Samurai? Mm -hmm. Wait, he was. Okay, so yeah. him and Chow Yun Fat were in the last Samurai because I think that yeah, Chow Yun Fat, Fat is, is the name was, I remember more. It was funny because my uh my 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 coworker, my former coworker, she was she used to talk about Chow Yun Fat saying, like in, in China, he's actually sort of a, a soap opera actor. Yeah. And nobody really took him right. seriously. But then he was in, it, like, he did a lot of, I watched a lot of his action movies. Like, uh, I think um, Quentin Tarantino was inspired by some of his action movies. And then he went on to do a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And then it was like, you know, he's considered this. You want to know what else Quentin Oscar. was inspired by, Heidi? Cocaine. What's that? Cocaine inspired Quentin quite a bit, I imagine, as well. Oh, Quentin. Yes. Is oh, he doing, he's sure. doing one more yeah. movie, I think. He said he said he's doing one more movie. I'm like, you're gonna get more cocaine after that movie. You know that, right? And you're gonna write another movie. He, like he's oh he was in young guns oh yeah. cool oh, that's I love that's a good, good movie, but terrible. wait oh, wait, wait. Young, young guns one or two who are we talking about if you're talking about Lou Diamond Phillips, we're talking about, Phillips, talking about Lou Diamond Phillips. I always love Lou Diamond yeah, Phillips. Lou he, was young, yeah. he was in Young Guns too. I don't think he yeah. was in Young, young Guns, Guns too. One. See, Alicia would know. I could, this. I could be misremembering though. Yeah, yo, yeah. I, I was yeah. a very big Emilio Estevez fan back in the day. So yeah, I, oh, I could tell you about all of his. Oh movies my God, we hype. just. Hi, Alicia. We just watched with my kids. Um, what, what's the one where they uh he they go and steal the cars with oh, Emilio? That Oh, um, ah, uh, that, that's, that's a Stephen theory? King short story. No, the, no, 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 no. With no. Emilio Estevez, it's a Stephen King short story that they made into a movie. Christine, the, the uh, one where he, I, I no, no, the not Christine. No, the one where he has to go. No, re oh, Repo Man, Repo Man. Yes, oh, we, yeah. We Repo just Man. watched Repo. Is, where, and, and King? there's another one where he like where he's like brought into a video game, and that is also uh, based on another Stephen King short story. I know I know my 80 stars music movies. Yeah. Anyway, so we I, watched a, we watched kid, we watched Repo Man with the kids. It was so fun. It was really, really it's, good. It's it's one of those it's, really cheesy movies. It's like little is. monsters with uh Fred Savage and Howard yeah. Mandel. It's just one of those and cheesy Charlie ass Sheen old movies that are <laughs> so garbage men. Charlie Sheen, men at work. Men at work. Men at a work. And movie. a lot of people yeah. don't know that uh, yeah. Milo uh, Estevez and Charlie Sheen are brothers. Exactly. And their oh, father yes. is Martin Sheen. Yeah, he. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't know that nowadays. Estevez is the real last name. Charlie changed him and he also did some other stuff. I won't get into it. Yep. But uh, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> um, cool dude. He's fun. Um, he's a fun guy. Uh, but no, yeah, Milo Estevez. Uh, yeah, he was in Dirty Work. What was it? Was it Men at Work? Men at Work. Yeah, yeah. yeah when him and Charlie were uh, garbage men. 
Yeah, and then their boss, when they get pulled over by the cops, he goes, "You have no idea how much, how little life means to me." And so it, it, that yep. movie's fucking. Great. I'm gonna have to watch that now with the kids, Justin. Yeah. One of my watch. favorite old school movies. Yeah, I don't I know why, but they move. It, it just it hit me like that. That is one of my favorite. That um, my real mom. genius. Um, what's what's the the, the Breakfast Club? Oh yeah, another Emilio movie that I love. <sighs> yeah, yeah. All those uh, 80s movies. Luna says uh, 80s Ken so Wan- cool. Watanabe is in Tokyo Vice, and actually Ken is in the Crater. I think because I was like, why is he not in Shogun? But he's in the Crater. I don't know if you guys have seen the Crater. Heard of it? Uh, husband's seen it. It's um, it's really really good. It's like I think where someone has to rescue a child who is a robot or something. Anyway, I don't know. Jack, Jack's oh, I, I think I know what, what you're talking the about. Creator. I don't remember the name of the movie. Denzel it's Washington's son is in it. Oh, yeah. He was in uh, Ballers, too. With the Rock. Yeah. So Ken mm-hmm. Watanabe, I'm probably not saying his name correctly, but he's one of those old school Japanese actors that you guys would know. Like, he's in all kinds of things. Um Anyway, so many great movies. But Justin, do you want to talk? Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, so I think we, we're probably going to do a live stream. We're going to get into Fallout. We're gonna, we'll do it. Yeah, the creator. Thanks, thanks, Luna. I think we should do um, a live stream about Fallout. Maybe we could do it like we can just watch mm-hmm. the eight episodes because everyone's just watching it really yeah. quickly and we can yeah, talk sure. about it. I, can I, just, I think we're going to split it half and half. Yeah, and Justin, Justin's a gamer, so we can, and we're gonna have um, Farhan's gonna come on with us because um, he was a, he messaged me recently. He just graduated. Uh, if any of you know Farhan, yes, uh, he, he just graduated from university, and so um, he's our he's the, our I, boom, the, we're the boomers, and he's the now. what do you even call a person who's in their early twenties? You, you call him you call him in debt, and then you call him doctor. <laughs> All right, so Dr. Farhan needs some I money. See, wait, no, has he on. started his residency yet? He's not a he's doctor. He's not going he to be a start doctor. his residency. He's you can't call him doctor yet. No, I'm gonna no call he's it. not I'm a doctor. Anybody, doctor. I just throw it around like a football. I don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> who cares? Yeah. Um, uh, he has, yeah, he has a communications degree. He's a good guy. Well, I, Vincent, I don't know if I can cook, but I have to cook. I have no choice. Like my, uh, I'm forced to because I have two children. <laughs> I need kids, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm I have a family, so cook. it's usually like pasta, or maybe I make shepherd's pie, or I, I do lots of, I do very like uh, traditionally Canadian English food, like See, shepherd's I, I, pie. I was gonna say those sound like group dinners. Yeah. Like you put a I shepherd's pie in the oven, and that's gonna be whatever I can. Beans at we breakfast. We do I, spaghetti and meatball. I do beans at breakfast. Actually, no, I got That's, my son yeah. making meatballs now, which is very cool. Like he helps me make. We make a big batch of meatballs, Good but meatballs. I do lots of soups and stews. Those I and then I can just freeze them and then we have them like anyway. So that's what you, I do. You heard that's it. My she's cooking. forced to cook. So you know, she's I'm a mom. <laughs> I'm a mom cook. If that makes yeah. sense. No, I, yeah, I, I will. Yes, yeah, so one pot dishes one, one exactly. Small tidbit. One small tidbit, just because we're we, we uh, are so near the eighties. Uh, what does that yeah. mean? What real, real science is also she, epically she's mean. Yeah, real science with uh, <laughs> Val Kilmer is one of my favorite eighties movies. Is that like the weird? Is that <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no? Science. Real genius was Val Kilmer, but real real science was two other dudes. But it, it where they were oh, trying to make, make uh, a, woman uh, that with, a isn't that supermodel the girlfriend. But yeah, real it was science, yes. It, it, it That's reminded me of uh, yeah. the the move the the mannequin movies. Yeah, that's good. Those are Sandwich. classics. Just just teenagers trying to trick women into sex. Just great movies. Uh, Those I was, 80s movies. Yeah. Regarding what Carl's yeah. saying here, actually, it's funny. I went down to uh, like we went to watch the eclipse on Monday, and I went down if to my you're mother at the right. At, to my sister-in-law's and on my way back like came back and there was a bag and there was a bottle of maple syrup in there and a, and a jar of honey because mm. my sister-in-law and her husband have like <laughs> they have like, like three time. beehives and then they are is that what they're called beehives yeah. uh and then they also have like a maple syrup sort of um uh what do they call that? Like a little you tap maple the syrup. tree. You put like a screw in the tree and you say, come on. Yeah, they have a maple syrup. syrup, like little farm, like it's small, yeah. right? So, but they, you know, they do, they do oh, small sure. batches. So anyway, yeah. So I came home. 
that's it's not even like it's not even stereotype it's true yeah. that we yeah uh canada produces the majority of the maple syrup in the world so yeah you have a literal cartel that we both I, have worked I didn't for know that. Even into yeah. it. <laughs> they're literally a cartel like a legal cartel that. yeah it's fine and then and then i'll just pour it on my on my children's crappy dinners <laughs> Well, if you don't, the cartel will kill <laughs> you, you and your family. So, you know what I mean? You have Mom's to. Mom's making a crappy, shitty dinner for you tonight. Here, I'll pour some maple syrup on it. It'll be better. It's fine. They'll be happy. You know what <laughs> it's I mean? It's like, um, it's one of the food groups, according to Elf. Uh, syrup. One of the food groups. <laughs> don't you guys also eat the cookies that people leave for Santa Claus? <laughs> candy corn, candy canes, mm. yeah, no, syrup. No. And uh, I can't remember what the fourth one was. Yeah, I got the shit beat out of me in Windsor. I'm Shooter. not a fan. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know anything about eating the uh, the random cookies placed out for Santa Claus because just because you know West Indian culture, we never got that. So mm -mm. I I was um uh, I, I don't know uh, fortunate unfortunate maybe I don't know to be born um on a day that was three days before Christmas. So I I I never received two presents on that day. It was always just one because mm. it was for both, and that mm. was absurd. That and, day uh, else, Alicia. So, yeah, if you can help it, don't have Christmas December babies. Yeah, we don't like it. I mean, oh, it's I'm, awful! I'm it's a it. terrible thing to do to a child. Well, regardless, I'm not sticking around. So you know what I mean? It's fine. Um, but wait, 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 wait. Ja matter. Jackie, how, how did how did you never know what exactly? Because I, I did just put a comment about Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck is an actual Marvel character i know when when a lot of folks saw him in guardians of the galaxy they they <laughs> thought that it was really cool that yeah. they had his ip well he's always been a marvel yeah. character they didn't sell him off yeah they they kept him because he was they, yeah we would buy him because they were stuck with Iron no they just had him in the wings nobody wanted yeah. to buy him tell that's the story the about that's my point yeah nobody wanted to Be buy honest. him you got to realize about marvel that was the thing like when they when they released iron man he it was found called... a place with the guardians okay yeah. don't hate yeah. No, but what I'm saying is like this, they came from nothing. Like Marvel had sold everything that was worth anything. They they were making fun of Iron Man yeah. calling it the B team, like in all this. We Which don't is understand why that. we can't That's get Spider-Man back right no, now. And then Sony has Spider-Man and they trade what did they oh. trade Spider-Man for? And they then will never let him go. They gave Sony what movie? It was one of the um bonds. Sony got one bond movie or something. It was weird, something they couldn't bond. do anything with. No, oh sorry now, like Charles. Charles. I'll, I'll look it up. Sony, okay, Sony, they traded. I'm pretty sure Sony traded either Mission Impossible or Bond to get uh, Spider-Man. I gotta look. But it doesn't matter. It's fucked up. The syrup. Yeah. I do mm -hmm. The syrup. <laughs> is Carl, is that so, how okay. you're matching hey, it? No, 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 no. Hi, Heidi, Heidi, I, I don't think you're <laughs> you're grasping the actual meaning of how he is saying scissor. He's talking about coding. It, it, means, it means something, yeah, it means something other than what you're thinking right now. Yeah, oh, like when I said I got, when I said I got clean, it's, it's like hard. Man. It's like yeah. hard drugs. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, drugs. is it? Oh, okay. All it's, right. You take Vicodin. Yeah, guys, you take yeah. Heidi yeah. right is not on, on the. You scissor. guys know I'm naive, and else. the kid, you know, I I'll say something to the kids like, "Oh, is that like that's real cringe or something?" And mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll be like, "Mom, stop." <laughs> Okay, well, I have well, all confidence that you would use the phrase "that's so cringe" properly. But when when it comes to knowing things like uh, scissor and what that is, I, I, I will absolutely have your back and tell you never say that to your children. So you're gonna need the cold filter, the Vicodin, <laughs> to get the coating. Okay, but my advice to everybody out there listening is just take the pills. You're risking. No, Carl, I will not shush. Yeah. I will yeah. not <laughs> let you lead my lady it, astray. It is Sprite. With coding specifically, Sprite. Shut up, Justin. And it is it doesn't matter. It's so bad. That's like, that's yeah, like the green. time uh, yeah, my green. husband had to explain to me what sloppy seconds meant. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why is it your husband had to explain that, ma'am? I didn't know what it meant. And I would keep, I keep, I, I'm gone. not even a part I, of y'all straight uh, <laughs> community, and I know what that means. Come on now. I, wow. I was using it. I was using it just very <laughs> random. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we like, were very Heidi. suspiciously going into ginger ale and after dark territory, <laughs> so I feel like we, we need to bring it back, Heidi. Do you okay, remember sorry. Heidi's 24? We were talking about Fallout. 
Oh my yeah, god! This one's yes, I do remember that yeah, stream. Stop. That was <laughs> one for the ages. Crying, laughing so hard. It absolutely was one oh. for the ages. If y'all missed the twenty-four hour uh, drunken uh, roundtable yeah, stream, no husband had I to explain did. it to me. I didn't know what it meant, and I was like, because I was you using it that. like just in random conversation. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> and he don't said, Heidi, I don't think you know what it means. And I'm like, sure I do. It just means it's second hand. No, you he do goes, not. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then he explained to me Wait, what it meant. Hold on, okay, see, like, hold on. Can you can you please tell the folks what your husband does for a living? He's a uh, he's an audio audiovisual person. He's a murderer, right? Did he murder? No. Yeah. <laughs> he's a murderer. Listen, I, I was I was addressing Lady Heidi, sir. I'm sorry, I was trying to be helpful. I you keep that. your shenanigans over there in the corner until you are called upon. <laughs> so no, so uh, again, oh as you God. just heard. Hi Heidi's husband does not do anything that is even in this realm of random phrases and shenanigans. No, I'm crying and he knew and laughing so what hard. that phrase meant, and he had to educate her on that. Yeah. <laughs> so like just that. let that sink in a little bit. And so if when, you and, if you run it went, by me and you run it by him and we don't approve, and just then don't the worst part it. was he went off and told other people that he works with what that that I what I thought it was, and then that just you know because he works with audiovisual people and they're like. He comes back to me and, sometimes and, and he tells me things that they talk about. And I said, um, I think you've mistaken me for one of your pals. <laughs> like, <laughs> please don't share this story with me. <laughs> no, we're not going into serious. Hey, you know what? No, please don't. Please don't Look, tell me these uh, stories. All, all of that is why <laughs> myself, why Justin, <laughs> why Uncle AU, why our <laughs> chat room will always come and hang out when Lady Costume Co. Sends out the call. And she yeah, calls and him. to be clear, he'll kill because we know we're going to get some oh awesome God, yes. conversation, yeah. and oh, then at the so end hard. of that conversation, it's going to be shenanigans, and that's what we've been doing. If you have to put your name on a list to get the cough syrup you're buying, you're getting fucked up. Yeah, you're I'm, just, wrong I'm, thing. You're I'm, wrong. I'm dabbing my eyes, everyone. If they say you can buy this cough syrup, so you need to sign this paper with your social security number. You're not living right. You're nope. Up. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Things. Yeah, and it's nasty. I am it's a stupid I, way to get high. I am. You can well, ask Justin. I am. I'm very. I am very sheltered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, oh, we know. Oh we my know. god. We, we, we. I yeah. think we've all been friends long like, enough to know. <laughs> yeah. When, when it comes to you in Sam, college. When it, yeah. When, when it comes to you and Sam <laughs> RL9, y'all are like our resident Canadians. We we protect I you am. at all costs. And then and like you, you are literally true. Helena Targaryen. Okay. We we will protect yes. you at all costs. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. And the children are always like, Mom, Mom, no, don't please don't say that. Yeah. Please yeah. stop. But, exactly. And, uh, and you know yeah. what? That that is why I have never said I need to meet your children because I already know how old they are. And I know that yeah. when I'm not there to correct you, they're gonna do it. <laughs> and then i try i try even on the weekend i try to slip something in and my son's like what are you doing please don't stop but yeah mom don't do that yeah mm -mm. so anyway yep. yes yeah mm -hmm. no cap well i don't know if that's true <laughs> if I'm uh, do you know what that means no, that doesn't sound very positive <laughs> no I, I i think he I, I think he was absolutely correct he told he you just said that when you do a thing, your your son comes in and does a thing and tells you to stop it. And Justin said, no cap, as a reply. That means no lies were told. No lies yeah. detected. And I only lie once every five things. So that was good. You just got to count yeah. how many things I just said. Lies. Sh sh shut up, Justin. It doesn't shut matter. Up. It's an Ohio thing. Um, but um, what is it? So, yeah, you are in Ohio. Don't, yeah. don't be trying to yeah. do that. Listen, I'm from Detroit, and we don't fucking like Ohio, just to be clear. And nobody makes it in Detroit. Uh, okay, <laughs> hold on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. See, see, see. Hold on. No, 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 we go. don't, no. We, since you brought that dynamic don't up. Nobody make it in Detroit. No, We're not delusional. No, since you brought that dynamic up, let me clarify because there are some college football fans in here i'm yeah. sure when what? it comes no, to isn't. when it comes to them and it comes to ohio state and michigan state mm -hmm. guess what colors i'll be wearing on game day justin guess red. i don't know what are your guess. examples red. i don't know i didn't go to either of the schools no okay the, the colors i'll be wearing they it might surprise you because it seems like you don't know me as well as i thought we knew i each don't other. know the colors the of ohio colors i wear the colors of Ohio State are uh, red, and scarlet, and gray. Silver. Yeah, oh, and, and the, their arch enemies, in, in, you know, from Detroit are, are Michigan. Yeah, I didn't go to that and, school. Uh, Michigan's so colors kid. are blue and gold. And guess what colors AK be wearing on on, on that game day? See, Carl, I was. I if was you think she wearing scarlet and gray, you're wrong. 
I don't know, Alicia. Wow. I didn't go to that school. I'm not in a part of that fake rivalry. Then why the hell did you bring it up into the conversation? Because Michigan and Ohio you brought that like into the conversation we because we fought you because you thought it was going to be some big gotcha moment. And I'm telling you here right now, no, I fully support Michigan blue and gold. And the only reason I do that is because I have seen the fuck shit that OSU uh, campus patrons do, and I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I, I had to work yeah, at, at a restaurant on third shift. I, I got you. I got you. During OSU, so I will never support them. Blue and gold is what I wear on the game. I don't, I don't, I don't, I I don't know. Learned, I'd have to go to the gift shop to get just a thing, so you so I'm know. Part of it. I'm not I, a part I, of it. Right. Okay. Look, Vincent. Vincent. I don't care. It's not a betrayal, Vincent. Okay. So if you have been through the things that I've been through on that campus, you will be sporting that blue and gold too. What I'm referencing here is the Toledo War, where we fought Ohio for Toledo. And we got the Upper Peninsula, which was clearly Wisconsin's, by the you way. Didn't say not and a you damn got thing about Toledo. No, you assumed it was some college thing. I didn't go to the gift shop. Of a you school said I didn't Detroit. Go to a... Yes, Detroit is not Michigan State. It's not U of M. U of M's in Ann Arbor. Hi. Come on, get it together. I'm not part of some college it's fucking right. rivalry. Okay, everyone quiet. Everyone quiet. Everyone quiet for a second. Okay, please. See, this Thank is you. that nonsense. Uh, Dude, you know oh, how many fat drunk dads talk about like You know how many fat drunk dads talk about like universities they never went to and they fight. <laughs> that's face. Let's see. This is what Justin does. Shut up. Heidi is trying to talk. No, no, I'm trying to talk. Okay. No, I just wanted to say because Alicia was saying earlier she loves learning things. And I was thought pure as the as the driven snow meant like it was dirty. So uh, Carl's saying it's actually freshly fallen, like blown driven yeah. into a snowbank. Nice yeah. and fluffy, too good to for this evil world. So here I was thought pure as the driven snow meant like no. you're not. Sure. First, the driven slow is, is is basically how the fairy tale of Snow White would have you view. Okay, her character. So she I learned that. So I always thought it was different. That's and, how and, I am. No, yeah, lily white, fresh snow yeah. flakes that have fallen upon the ground, and they've not been trod on by They're any chased. human feet or tire marks. There's no mud mixed into them. Okay, if you're confused, funny. Becky, I understand. Just go look up also, about um, the, 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 the basketball and football. Also, yeah, guys, also, guys, I don't so care if about you any talk any of that. about <laughs> colors, I'm not going to know what you're I'm, talking about. John, are you into sports? I don't. I'm not talking oh, yeah. about sports. I don't care. Johnson. Oh yeah, he, he. That that that's why he's been chuckling in the background. He knows when when I say scarlet and gray, that those are always you the uh, the Buckeyes that's colors. Right. You know, when I say blue and gold, well, actually it's maize and gold. The, those are Michigan's colors. In, uh, I find it weird if you didn't football. go to the college. If you fight for it, I did all these DJ events where I had. I didn't go to the college. And these, I people didn't go to the college, and they were part of that fight. And I was like, "You didn't go to that college. What are you fighting for? It's not your thing." It's Same, weird. Jackie. I have no clue. I have no idea. <laughs> Which no, is exactly it. why I did not like them, Justin. I didn't go to the college. I just saw all the fuck shit that happened after those games and even during those games, whether yeah. they won or lost. Hey, there hey, was some have, bullshit that me need, and my crew at the restaurant one, that yeah. we lit, that we worked at on third shift had to go through because yeah, at no point it was like arguing this with not, Alicia. You need Sarah, to understand that. I wasn't saying that. I know, but you didn't have the context. I was giving you context. That's all it yeah. was. Sarah said she made a Huskies Obi with a screen printed Husky to wear with a purple kimono. There you that go. That sounds so beautiful. Ooh. I Sarah, like that. that's that's really I mean, are there are there pictures? Right? Are there pictures somewhere that we can see? Well, maybe she can send us some pictures. With a dog, please, yeah, uh, you send, would, it, yeah, please, please send those to Heidi. Colors. We would love to I'd see into, that. I'd be into Gryffindor colors. I would. I'd be into that. But I have no Gryffindor clue colors no are idea. gold and scarlet. So yeah. yes, and I am of House Gryffindor. So, yes, I support that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what else do you guys want to talk about before we wrap up? Because Mama's going to have to go to bed. No, well, well <laughs> we we never really got into Fallout. So, what what are are what are your thoughts on how we're going to do Fallout? Well, we were saying we could either do a weekend, maybe, and we could either. Are you do trying a mid, to do a mid, like a, a, a whole season? season? Well, we could do mid season. Justin, it. thoughts? Yeah. Thoughts? Really? I, I would rather. Split it. But yeah, just once or two, twice. It's already all out, so sure. we'll do it once or twice. We'll be good. Mm -hmm. And then, and then maybe we okay. can talk to Tony about coming back for the finale of Shogun, and so we can see like after all yeah. this oh, stuff happens absolutely. with Tarnaga, okay. all of his plans are like you know revealed plans like, that's why we live in tokyo now i just tokyoed you and i'm like bam he's gonna be tight no no no, no. <laughs> you stop that right now it's yeah I, I feel like, like how like, i tokyoed you uh, i just tokyoed you it's a new how, thing how like, our great lord is, is moving 
bitch. That how our great lord is moving, I, I think, is uh, more attributed to uh, Duke Harkonnen of the Dune series. He's got plans on plans on plans. Yeah, that is true. So that that that's that's yes. how. I'm his but I, I would I'm also saying, say, um, Heidi, sure. If we are going to have uh, Tony on with us, I think we, we should do the you know, full season because we've had uh, Tanya yeah. on for one of those episodes. You know, uh, for br- sure. bring the whole pack together. We will. And Tanya, I, I felt so bad because I said to her, <laughs> I said, Tanya, I hope you will come back. I hope we didn't scare you off. So we'll have Tanya. John, you want to come back? Oh, she, to oh, she, she, she loves your channel. Yeah. She, you, you, I, I love don't think her. You her off. And then, yeah, uh, she's, she's and then awesome Tony. Yes. Uh, I, I, yeah. I think all of us on together would be a great show. I think it would be really fun. So let's do that. We'll do a finale for Shogun and we'll do maybe a mid season and a end of season for, Fallout. For fallout and yes. uh so who is it just asking me luna's asking me if we're going to be watching dark matter so the trailer for that just came out today it was so funny because we're, um, we're on apple what, what, what is husband, dark matter? husband loves apple tv and we're on apple mm-hmm. and there's a show called dark matter with joel edgerton mm-hmm. and um i think it's uh, uh jennifer connelly joel edgerton, is that uh Tar- is he related to taryn edgerton do you know no From, there's uh, no relationship joel Edger- edgerton oh, okay. joel edgerton okay and so anyway so we're on apple tv and it shows this new show dark matter but there's no trailer and, and it's like a month away and he's like why is there no trailer and i'm like i don't know it's kind of weird right so today i'm i'm on youtube and sure enough there's a trailer for it and it looks so good um nice. okay. and so anyway yeah definitely be watching that and uh you know obviously house of the dragon is going to be really big this year it's coming up it's coming fun up. fact joel edgerton you know that he plays um uh in star wars he plays uh Uncle yeah owen ben. owen right and his brother is the stunt double for uh ewan oh. mcgregor so oh, i yeah. did not know that that's oh, so cool you know what that's not right. a lie that's my justin guarantee of the stream the one thing i said that was actually fucking true you can all go to bed and useful right yeah and yeah. useful that, Screw you that, on that that, one, that's, John. that's almost that's I'm not almost happy. as cool <laughs> as knowing that it, if you were a fan of a uh, terminator 2 and you know that scene of uh linda hamilton pulling the bullets out of uh the uh t-, t uh 500 version the the arnold schwarzenegger version of the terminator out of his back in that mirror that was not linda hamilton that was her twin sister oh, doing i didn't know that we just watched that with the kids that yeah, seems and, and also uh, another fun set of twins in Hollywood that most people don't know. Um, Gates McFadden, who played Dr. Crusher on Star Trek uh TNG, mm-hmm. her twin sister worked on the uh Labyrinth uh movie that was, oh, was uh mainly well, Gates done. Was, with, uh, Gates was Muppets. the Gates was the uh, the choreographer on that, Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh Danny Gates, DeVito. Gates, uh, Gates McFadden, Wait, Gates McFadden is the what? choreographer on uh, Labyrinth. Her, I don't know about uh, his sister. But uh, no, I, I think he, I think you should go back and reread that. It was her twin sister that worked on that. Not really. Wait a minute. I think that I'll read it right yeah. now. Let's find out. What are oh. we looking at? Labyrinth. I yeah, was, yeah. Go, I, I am. Perhaps, there, there, there is. It's a big chance that I may be misremembering Justin. So yeah, fact check me. Let's do that. Okay. I'm, I'm fairly certain it was her twin sister. That I know was Gates on. McFadden is like her stage name. That's not her real name. But, right? G- no, Gates McFadden is, is Dr. Crusher on Star Trek The Next Generation. No, I know it's Dr. Crusher, but I think it's that's not her real name, though. I think it's like a that can't be a real name. So we're talking about the stunt? Who would name their child Gates? M- who, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I like a- actual. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is Bill Gates' watch. That I'm no, because I watched it behind the scenes. You did that, John. I watched okay. it behind the scenes of them doing the the ball the ball scene, and she was like the choreographer. I thought. Okay. okay, I'm looking. I'm looking up right now. That, Hold was, on. that was her twin sister. We got it. We got mm-hmm. it. We got it. So, dance choreographer. Let's see. It might be in stunts. I'm looking. I'm looking. Mm-hmm. Mm, there's Just, a goblin. There's a lot of goblins. Jesus. Well, that's ballroom a, dance. There's a lot of goblin puppets. It, it was Jim Henson's puppets that did that. Goblin King. A lot of the Goblin King played things. by uh, what was it? It was ba- it was ba- Bowie that played that, right? David yeah, Bowie. David Bowie. That was uh, yeah. get Garrett the the Goblin King. Yeah. Who was? I mean, and if, Jennifer if you Conley is that in that. Lore, you know what's crazy? Jennifer Conley, totally yeah, full and, circle and here. A, Jennifer mm-hmm. Conley is in is in Labyrinth, and she's also and in Dark Matter. Oh, full Dark circle. Matter. Is she? Nice. Yeah. 
Jesus, there's a lot of fucking people. And she's married to Paul Bettany, who's amazing. Oh, interesting. (laughs) Yeah. Very interesting. I I know his name. Nice. Yeah. He's uh, Paul Bettany. He's in. um, Justin, have you not have you not found found our? There are so many people on here. I've got it. Paul Bettany. John, who's Paul Bettany? He's like in Marvel. He's Vision. Vision, yes, thank you. Vision, yes. You you know what? Cool, cool thing Wanda. about his character when he was uh, cast as the voice of Jarvis in the first Iron Man movie. Very uh, shortly before that, he was told by his agent that he like wasn't bankable. Like he he would never work in a prominent Hollywood role ever again. And he and, and he's done interviews about this. He he said that like he walked out of the office. And he was just so distraught, like he just sat down, yeah, you know, like get against the wall of a building on a sidewalk. And maybe like a day or so after that, he got a call, like a, yeah, uh, yo, we got this thing going down. You want to be the voice of a uh, Iron Man's AI? Yeah, it was just and, a and, and he did, and and that like rejuvenated his career. Hey, what is the name again? So I can double check. Gates McFadden. Uh, get, no, Gates Mc, no, it, Gates McFadden's sister. Yeah, I'm, I'm linking this who you want to look for. Yeah. yeah, this is Ludo. Anyway, from, let, uh, let me let, let me let me. Jump I got over it this. right here. Ooh. Blah 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 blah. Spouse, <laughs> children, alternative. We obviously show. have a big fan of Labyrinth in the chat. David Bowie yeah. was in it. He's like, how weird La- is it? Dude, is La- Labyrinth weird? is one of my absolute number one favorites. By the way, I was going to tell you this is so funny. So my son for uh, his birthday, he wanted he wanted Oingo Boingo like. For his yeah. birthday. What is her so, name? Uh, Sh- Cheryl McFadden. Just oh, okay, Cheryl. Okay, so we, my husband, we got him. I actually, I ordered him the the CD. So we're listening to Oingo Boingo in the car, like this week. And I don't know if you guys know Danny Elfman very well. This is his. Or this is his band. No. But it's so funny because my son was saying, "Oh my God, you can hear, you can hear in the Oingo Boingo." That that will eventually become the um, the pumpkin king, right? From uh, mm. uh, it, it was mm-hmm. really anyway. But I I had after we finished listening to it, I said I don't know I can go back and listen to that again because it's actually really really that's <laughs> prog rock. <laughs> What's my son? He's eighteen. Um, it's it's a little bit angry, so it was a little bit hard for me to listen uh, uh, to so the entire here album go. of I'm oh, sorry. Boingo. Oh. So this is the news, guys. Have, so Gates McFadden, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cheryl McFadden is a alternative pseudonym for for for, yeah. for Cheryl her, is it's Gates. Her first name. No, it's yeah, it's, Gates it's actually is her Gates. second name. Yeah, she's so, known. There's no twin. This is all that. a twin conspiracy. It's, 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 it's a twin conspiracy. Yo, on 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 the extra things on my DVD of Labyrinth, it shows a separate interview with Cheryl McFadden. Well, I watched the behind and, the scenes and, and I was like, that was that, a McFadden. That, mm, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. She she was saying that, you know, G- Gates is her sister that was on Star Trek. So, I mean, She's look, the, the, the Matrix is real. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's all I would say. The Matrix is real, damn it. Yeah, it's that it's I mean, it's just saying that it's her alternative name and it's citing it for her choreography on the Labyrinth. So And that dude, that that's so weird. Like, it is weird, yeah, Ryan. because on another site, it is to Alicia's credit here, it is uh saying that like it is a different person, but that's a weird fandom page. <laughs> it's the it's a yeah, family yeah, guy I fandom mean, page, I it's family know, guy. I didn't know that. That's what I'm so her, her real name a is a Alicia, because different... yeah, like Gates, I mean, it's just like that is not that's not a real name, yeah. That's the family not, guy with the, is the only thing that comes up for Cheryl Gates McFadden. It says <laughs> Cheryl Gates McFadden, usually credited as Gates McFadden, is an American <laughs> actress and choreographer. She is best known for portraying <laughs> yeah, see, the character of Dr. And, Beverly and Crusher that, okay, look, in the Star Trek. Luna? Yeah. Luna, look, are they rebooting the Matrix? Yes. Okay. A lot what? of things that we think no. are the Mandela effect have been proven to be no, those are just changes in history that they want us to forget. Imagine being so That's successful. Completely different stream, though. We're like, not we not me. even gonna get into that. I didn't do the We're choreography. Not get into that. that was my brother. No, you didn't. No, imagine being that famous. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine yeah. that? That was yeah, my twin sh- brother who that did that. That was my brother that did that shit. I do a lot of oh, cool yeah. shit. Catch up. Yeah. I'm saying, uh, I'm saying from, from, from my, from John, my childhood memories, I remember Gates and Cheryl being yeah. two different people. Well, I'm going to go down to the county Apparently and say I'm really wrong married now. to Cheryl, and I'm going to see if I can get some money. 
here. <laughs> negotiate Justin, something. Shut up. Go to your room. Go to your He's room, Justin. In He's in we were talking about right statistics. In my room. 20 points from Gryffindor. <laughs> Reboot. <laughs> yeah, they are actually doing another Matrix. It's going to be terrible again. Oh my God! They're yeah, doing we tell people reboots. that Pan's Labyrinth is one there's of my favorite movies, one? and yeah. they go, "Oh, it you is. mean with it... David Bowie?" And mm -hmm. I'm like, "No, <laughs> it's not." The Queen's one. Labyrinth. What's what is Pan's favorite? Labyrinth? It's the Spanish. Oh, Pan's uh, Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. I believe isn't that um uh, Del Toro? Uh, not, Del Toro. Not, yes, yes. Benicio Del yes. Toro. Yes. David Benicio Del Toro. Wait, who 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 was the director of that? Uh, I thought Del Toro directed it. Yeah. Horror person. I, yeah. I can't. Yeah. Think it's Benicio. Who did Del Toro. Pacific Rim and? Yeah, Benicio it's, Del Toro. That's an actor. You know what's funny, John? It's not Benicio. Guerrero. It's not Benicio. It's Guillermo. What Justin just said. Guillermo Del Toro. Guillermo. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was going to say that it's really funny because he knows things. This girl that I went to yeah. university with, um, she's now running. Um, Guillermo del Toro studio. And <laughs> it was like, this is so weird because we used to drive into school together. And then she was working at our grocery store at the time. Mm. And so they were like, she would start. So they were like, well, how did you get started running a studio? And she's like, well, I was working at a grocery store at the time. And I, uh, I learned how to do petty cash and they were like, we need someone to do petty cash. <laughs> so that's basically how she got, she got started running uh Guillermo del Toro's studio in Toronto and because you know he you know he loves Toronto he shoots Toronto like he shot um uh what are the movies he did here Brad uh, Merida or Mirida Studios is the name Marina's Marina are you talking about Marina yeah Service? Troy? Cabinet of Curiosities yes thank you that's one of them and then he did uh uh, uh, what is that? Crimson Tot or Crimson Peak, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorites. Uh, so he's done like three or four movies here. And but anyway, it's funny. So so Nancy, I I messaged her on on Facebook and I said, Oh my god, Nancy, you're like running a movie studio. <laughs> she like, turns out I, I needed somebody that impressive. knew how to count. Yeah, she but knew it how to was count. because she was working at Price Chopper uh, as Makes a sense. cashier Price and Chopper. had experience doing petty cash. And they were like, we need someone to do petty they, cash. We so. need somebody that does that thing you're doing. Should oh, counting? Yeah, They're like, yes, counting. So there you go, guys. Yeah, he was supposed you, you to have, do The Hobbit. Um, yeah, he backed yes. out of it. And then what's yes. yes. the He was supposed to do The Hobbit before? Guillermo. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I did hear about that. Yeah, and then what, I, and I honestly did it and did a bad job. No, knowing Guillermo's track record, I would love to see The Hobbit through his eyes because I so think he would have made it a very fantastical horror movie. And honestly, for for I, I don't know if you've seen like the '70s animated Hobbit series that came out, but sure. oh no, some of that shit was creepy as hell. I think Guillermo would have been yeah. on point. Oh yeah, for sure. That's why Jackson wanted me to do it, and Jackson came in at the last minute because Guillermo. Uh, you know, he left. Yeah, and yeah. He and, and Jackson said, "Fine, I'll left. do it, but yeah. I'm not doing any of this stuff because he storyboarded boarded for five years uh, before Lord of the yeah. Rings. He did none of that because Guillermo was supposed to do it. So he said, "Fine, I'll fucking do the movie." But as we can see, he's like, "But I'm not going to really do the stuff for it." <laughs> like gives us a big rush and, job. And yeah, you could tell Why where, where they leave? patched some things. Yeah, yeah. there was something that happened where they, patched, where they patched and retconned some things. I was I was talking to somebody I I don't remember who it was and they were saying there was a reason why Guillermo had to uh, pull out of uh, of it because how long and it was it was taken yeah they, yeah it was uh and so because originally Kate who did the costumes I remember this she did the costumes for um you know for Pacific Rim and for uh. Mm -hmm. Crimson Peak. And then what had happened was she was supposed to do the Lord of the Rings, like the one that he was going to do. And then, and then out. it didn't happen. So then she's now doing the, the ones for the costumes for Am the Amazon series. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, wait, did you say Pacific Rim? Yeah, yeah. Pacific Rim yeah, is Guillermo with, uh, and yeah. Nightmare, Nightmare Alley. Yes, thank you. That's with, uh, Char Charlie, Hunnam, Charlie Hunnam. Charlie Hunnam. Yeah, Charlie. Yes. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Charlie is also in. Um, he has a small part also in in uh, uh, Crimson Peak. He plays like the boyfriend mm -hmm. or something like that before she marries. I never watched the uh, like the reboot Warcraft. of Crimson Peak, which I think was um I may, I could misremember, but maybe they, they did it over to like a uh, Wayward Pines. Which is by the same guy that did uh, Crimson Peaks. 
I think we were pines is the same show, people who the, did uh, it. isn't that the same people who did uh that that uh, Netflix show? We were pines. I'm pretty sure it's the same people who did What's why we're pines uh, on Netflix? I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure it's the twin brothers who did didn't they do uh Stranger Things? The Way We're Pines guys. The That's Duffer Brothers? The Duffer, Duffer the Duffers, Brothers. Did the Duffer Brothers do Way We're Pines? Yeah, I think I think so. I, I could be wrong. Don't ask me, but yeah, Guillermo del Toro, fantastic. So we should probably wrap things up because it's almost midnight. Yeah, yeah. And Mama's gotta yeah. go to bed. Look, the <laughs> closure yeah. on the Hobbit story. Yeah, yeah. Del yeah. Toro so pretty much just said "fuck this" because they kept changing stuff. Yeah. He was pretty much just like "fuck this." Yeah, yeah. And that, that's speaking that's, forever. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that he was, that he was a part a of this project like, for like uh, two to three years and didn't even conclude it. So yeah, it was. He was pretty much this is nonsense. So yeah. A lot of studio now it's really look like uh henry cavill when he quit the wisher because yeah. <laughs> they were straying too far from the source material he well, and, and that's one of the things I, lo I love about henry he he really is a bona fide nerd he oh was such he's a doing a highlander and once yeah. he found out that these were th that the show mm -hmm. was being made he put himself out there to be like, Gerald because yeah. he understood yeah. that character so well mm -hmm. Make so it, like, yeah, I really I, I'm I'm going to miss him on that show. But wait, you, somebody said something about Highlander. Is, he's, is, yeah, he's doing is, Highlander. Is he gonna be Highlander. Yeah, there can only be one. Then, there can like there can be only <laughs> one Highlander. Yes, yes. I he's, I have I he's have he's gonna not heard he's that. gonna hold a giant like claymore style I, sword like a you, Ned you know what ice. like he wh when I think about him he automatically makes me think of the Adrian Paul version of the Highlander TV show that was out in like the early nineties. I didn't watch the and TV that makes show. Me I only know the Michael Perry really cool. or not Michael Perry. Who is it? Who played Highlander? Uh, I know that uh, Sean Connery is the peacock, but no, um, no, Sean Connery played like the mentor Highlander. There was, um, can't think of a better mentor than Sean Connery. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's like, he's like a, 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 Dutch, a Dutch actor, I think, or perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. When, when he did the, when he did that, that first Highlander movie, he didn't, it was the guy that played Raiden in, in the first Mortal Kombat movie. If I remember correctly, it's the same dude. And he, he did not speak English very well when he did a yeah. uh, Highlander movie. Yeah, it's you know, uh, get the vibe. He's on a motorcycle. He's at gas Christopher station. Lambert. Ke yeah. you know, Kevin Sorbo, no, Jackie, you're thinking of the wrong character. <laughs> the, yeah, Kevin Lambert. Sorbo was Hercules back in the day. No, that that's not him. It, Hercules, Christopher Lambert. Hercules. He's uh, sorry. He's actually a French actor. Dutch. We said French. Dutch. Same thing. Dutch. Okay. Yeah. French. I, I mean, pr pretty much. I'm We're terrible covered. in accents. We're ignorant. We're good. Me. We're all good. I'm here. so bad with accents. Yeah. Yeah. Christ I mean, you're no, French, Heidi. Christopher Lambert. Christopher Lambert was the Highlander on the TV show. There was a movie that was out before the TV. All, show. No, all Christopher matters, Lambert was the movie. All that matters is nobody ever did anything again once they were the Highlander. That's all that matters. Or 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 maybe or maybe maybe it was Chris Lambert yeah. that didn't. You speak probably call him. You probably come on the stream. He ain't got nothing to do. He was fucking Highlander. <laughs> Let's see, Christopher. <laughs> Christopher. And, okay, Look, but you well, know well, this is the weird part though. Highlander, can I just give can, can I give uh, props to Freddie Mercury and Queen because yeah. they came out with one of the most banging theme songs for a TV show with <laughs> yeah, Highlander. Was a god. Yeah, yeah I have it to was. Say that, this is the, the thing, universe. This is the thing that freaks me out is that the actor who plays the um you know his nemesis is actually the guy who does Mr. Krabs on um. Spongebob. Well, that's that, that's that's a good move because this guy was in Mortal Kombat, like um, said, all the yeah, Clancy right. Brown. Clancy Brown is like the arch nemesis Brown. of the Highlander. Ugh, and he the and, and he is now Mr. Krabs. How <laughs> did I ever put it together that that and was Mr. Krabs' voice? He's so good. He's so he's good. He's in the Shawshank like Redemption. And it, again, he's in the car, Rock. like he's the one in the car, and he's rocking out in the car to Queen, and he's screaming, and the girl in the in the car is with him screaming, and he screams with yes. her. As well. Vincent, you're correct. That's Adrian like one Paul of the best was the Highlander ever. on the TV show. He's in Starship Troopers too. Oh, Clancy Brown is in mm -hmm. Starship yep. Troopers. Yep. Uh, that's an amazing movie as well. I yeah. love it. One of my favorites. He, he looks like an interesting fellow. Wait, wait, which which Starship Troopers? 
Part one? The one with the uh, – yeah. They, well, they, you're right. There's the only one. one. It was one. Yeah. There, no, there's more than one. There is a, a bad sequel. I don't think it was no, there, There's one. several, Verhoeven. but the only one I pay attention to is part one. Yeah, it was one, Alicia. Yeah. There are spinoffs. I don't think Verhoeven did them, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's a fun movie. You can either think they're fighting bugs or you can see they're Nazis. Verhoeven's cool. Justin, like can you no, confirm they're, they're that O.J. Nazis. Simpson died today? Oh, yeah. And he could go and rest. Uh, he did. And he's wait, knowing that his, wait, uh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. That's – I knew somebody didn't know. No. Yeah. Hello, Twitter Re world. Record scratch. Did did that happen? Yes, he died. He uh he had um uh, colon cancer or something. He was a real let's, bad guy. He was a murdering murderer. Let's, yeah. let's raise a glass. I, mean, to, I, uh, I messaged OJ. His death. He, yeah, <laughs> that guy. He can rest now yeah. at peace knowing the killer of his wife is dead. I did. Okay, well, I, 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 I didn't. I have to say, though, I like, and this is probably not a very popular opinion, but OJ Simpson was in uh capricorn one which is one of my favorite science fiction movies uh -huh. of all time yeah. and and someone has said that oj simpson was a terrible actor and okay he might have been a terrible human being but actually i have to disagree with that i actually thought he did a pretty good job he would did Hertz I, i've never seen he that a waiter and his ex-wife um he did um a few things um he he wrote he wrote a book called if i did I do remember it, him this is how roots. i would do it and heidi <laughs> quote unquote he said if i were to kill her First thing I noticed is there was so much. He stopped speaking in third person right away. There was so much blood. Mm. Yeah, like he wrote That's a book about later. how he would do it. He killed her and he killed that waiter, Ron Goldman. And it was really sad. He's a piece of shit. Good that he's dead. Um, yeah. He was on Twitter. He kept saying, hello, Twitter world. I sent him a message, actually. I said, don't say hello, Twitter world. That seems weird. Jackie. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Like he was like, I, I go give fantasy football. I gave him good advice. I go give fantasy well, football tips. That's People want to hear that. It still doesn't take away from the fact that Capricorn oh. One is an amazing movie. Here's the thing, though. He made a, a video yeah. saying nope. that I, he was going to get revenge Capricorn on people. One. Look it up. OJ says, the I'm finally going to get the revenge. I, yeah, the, the only uh, film thing I remember him being in is Airplane. Roots. And that's it. He's in Roots? Oh, roots. he's in, he roots? in Airplane? Yeah. Yes. He was, yes. He was in it, it wasn't a bit. It wasn't a big character, but it was one of the times when uh, Kunta Kinte, yeah, the old school Roots, with uh Lavar Burton, you know, Cap Captain Jordy. Uh, yeah. That that that's when he was in in the role of Kunta Kinte. And he uh the character that uh um uh he was playing was also captured around the same mm. time. Yeah, he was innocent. He uh, Jackie see it. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of that. I seriously have a series of tweets to him from like 2 years ago where I was trying to give him advice cuz he kept saying that mm -hmm. he was going to get revenge on people for saying things about him. I go, "OJ, nobody wants to hear OJ's going to get revenge." bad move right like he's like i'm yeah. finally gonna get some revenge twitter world he was kicked out of, it was a bad right. news he's a bad guy he killed those yeah. people clearly, clearly I, I, I i didn't know about about the capricorn thing that uh heidi was talking about but but i oh I am so capricorn, good so I it's it's that. you know what honestly it deserves a remake it deserves a remake and it was funny because i was reading there's, there's today a lot of movies that deserve that a remake for technology. It, that even though NASA are the bad guys in the movie, they consulted Matt and NASA on it. Like they, mm -hmm. they work with them. They're like, okay, we've written you as the bad character in this. But mm -hmm. um, at the same time, uh, they consulted on it. Kind of like the Barbie movie. Oh, Heidi, NASA knows how to make movies. <laughs> Moon landing, am I right? Uh, right, yeah. I, I, feel, right. <laughs> I feel like we've been given that's enough evidence that, that say, yeah, they know what they're stupid... doing on the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's a stupid thing to say. But I'm well, that's, say what, that's what the whole, that's the premise of it. The premise is, of it is that these three astronauts are supposed to go to Saturn. And they, uh, they realize they can't do it safely. So they decide to fake it. Mm -hmm. why are there no pictures of space other than where they get yeah. that idea yeah. from yeah. yeah they decide to do a fake, <laughs> right. uh, uh you know why, sort of why are there so many stories with people saying they they are professional like photoshoppers of space mm. content mm -hmm. yeah what, where's the money in faking space where is the 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 lineal the, the linear people that have to keep that secret number one that you have to trust a whole like genealogy you know like a whole line of people that have to they know and they have to keep it a secret from everybody on earth that space is fake <laughs> and where is the money in space how do you make money off that what is the what is the motive you know, i'm saying like what what, what, what are they so matter. afraid of they're they find out that space is fake we're fucked what do you make how are you making it's money not, it's right not now? for you to understand it's a it it's a matter. cost you would have to make all that you'd have to make the production yes, Justin. We're and, just and making you it's all the money you save on fuel that's what no, it is. They say when you go through well, the airplanes, I think in this you case, scanned, I think yeah, in the, in yeah, the case great. of the movie in Capricorn One, the idea is that 
NASA has built up this whole thing that they're supposed to be sending these men to Mars or or wherever it is. And then they can't. So they have to sort of like, uh uh-oh, now we need to pretend that we're sending them to to mars and so that's like where the teenager get... that steals the car yeah and, so and they're, they're into a little bit of trouble i can't the lie now i gotta keep the <sighs> lie going they sweet, have to keep the lie going and this is that sweet, get sweet trouble. fake space money that costs so much money in production to fake in lies and like dude you can't trust three people or something you think these it's kind of like uh like wag the dog i think in wag yeah. the dog they do something like that too. yeah well they fake a war that makes sense yeah that, that we do that that happens sorry south america we do a lot of bad things but <laughs> but space <laughs> is yeah, there's yeah, no profit do. in that. Yeah, it's like because somebody's gonna eventually get high oh, enough to figure just... it out, and they're gonna get up there. Any asshole, get... Elon <laughs> Musk is digging around up there. He just Elon Musk owned PayPal. Ooh. He wanted to make it strictly for eBay. Somebody smart bought it. Elon's not all that smart. Fucking spoiler alert. All right, he and they made it work. Okay, Elon Musk owned PayPal, and now he sends rockets into space. Space isn't fake. Any asshole can get there. Clearly. So, but yeah, there's all that fake. Well, don't forget about boring. Yeah. Everybody remembers the space. Oh, boring. Yeah. Oh my God. All these people working at NASA have to keep the secret. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's crazy. These people, you're an insane person. I saw somebody put on Facebook. Bruh. I shouldn't have been on Facebook. One thing, they said that when you go on a plane, <laughs> your brain gets scanned by the x-ray, and it makes you believe in de- demonic, like, tech- I'm like, no, mm. it's just fucking air that goes above and below the wind, and they lift, you dick. Like, stop making this up. Like, what is the point? Like, where where's the end game? What is it called? Bono, uh, what, bo- it's, uh, it's who benefits. That's my end. But who, who bono? It's, who benefits? It, it, it's, fucking it's nobody. The, it's... One of my family, uh, well, my fucking family foremost, benefits. We own space. It's our fucking property. No. Nobody will ever first find out. Foremost, it's, it's a whole other stream if you wanted to get into that type of talk because go, the, go there, take a there yeah. evidence that can be China explored. is definitely fake. But, that, but oh, again, there's fake a whole other conversation Japan. and nothing to do with, with the shoguns or with the nerds uh, of the things that we cover. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, but we, 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 that's we, all we, I can we say. Can get in. We can get into to uh, you know, some conspiratorial things it's that may cons- have happened over the words and, and and your thoughts. And honestly, I I always love talking about stuff like that because it always leads to just interesting random debates. But I'm a random person yeah. like that, and, and not everybody may enjoy a conversation. Like all that. I'll tell you so is I, that there's I, no coincidence like that we, Shogun we is a show a to distract us from space. I stream Bam. that right now. I would love to see yeah. a, a mashup <laughs> between Shogun and space, and just like having see, they don't like, want Shogun see, in yeah. space. That would be really cool. Like, Heidi, Samurai's. how can we? We haven't Shogun seen Shogun from space. space. Where, where's know. those pictures? I see casting uh, pictures and set pictures, but I don't see space pictures. Why, Heidi, why, why do you we, think that is? Because they don't have ever been in space. Nah. Well, I don't know. I think that sounds like a three body problem. No, I'm not asking the right questions. <laughs> oh, oh, if you want to <laughs> delve into it, thank you, Heidi. I will, I will, I will, you're gonna hop on right now. John, John has to leave. It's like you know, Tara. You, right, yeah, because weirdos, right, because he, like, he has adulting to do in the morning. Thank you, you so guys, much, everybody. You weirdos, yeah. it's like midnight. Great, great seeing you, Uncle AU. Thanks for coming yes. through. Bye, John. Thank we'll you. talk soon. Okay, take care. See you next time. Oh, what's this here? Uh, Lean says there is a new movie coming out called Fly. Oh, sorry, Fly Me to the Moon, which deals with the same fake moon landing conspiracy. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, there's uh, look. They didn't have the production. I, I, seen again, I, I will not get into a lot of the random conspiracy theories and things that may be going on with, with space and with the That's oceans true. and all that. What I will say, though, is if you look at some of the things that um, have, have been made into books, stories, and you know, m- movies, short films, all that, whatnot, from, from, from many, many moons ago, not, not even most recently, but, you know, it, as a kid, I think my main conspiracy theory about anything has always been, you know, some folks are clued in and they've been trying to warn us through yeah. media, which is books and movies and stuff. And, you know, if you look at, um, at, was it, was it John Carpenter? I think, I think it was John Carpenter that made the movie, um, uh, they live starring, uh, Keith David and Roddy Roddy Piper. What, one of the most uh, awesome, uh, early WWF wrestlers You've that were out wrestler. In and, and, and if, if you look live. at the things that were happening in that movie, and, and you think about it, you know that that movie was far ahead of its time. Like it's a Aww, cult classic exactly. now, but that's that just creepy. because <laughs> a lot of folks d- didn't really uh, appreciate 
what was going on in that. But if you look at it now, it, it's crazy. And th there's a lot of things where if you look into old historical lore that has been cut off throughout the ages, there's a lot of things going down. And it, I, I would especially throw a highlight on uh, the things that are going on in Haiti. And I'm saying Haiti because that's how it's actually in Haiti? supposed to be pronounced. But we Haiti. know it as Haiti. And looking at the things that are going on now and the mystical things that were that are and were known about that area of the world and yeah. what not to you can go look it up. I'm not gonna get into all the conspiracy theories around it. You can go look up it and see for yourself. You can you make your own. Alicia, opinions. you don't gotta tell everybody that the world is bad. Yeah, there, there's a what lot of bad shit that goes. Uh, it has, yeah. It's 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 deeper than that. Oh, Alicia, I have to actually watch. I think Leland, my older son, has been asking to watch They Live. Uh, so, yeah, with Keith oh, it's, Davis. It's so good. Roddy Piper. Oh, what? Well, yeah, 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 the, yeah. The movie with Roddy, Roddy Piper. It, it's, yeah. such, it's one of my favorite old school movies. We have to watch it. Is it, is it a Stephen like King? It. Is it Stephen King? No, no, it's not. No, it, uh, John, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's John Carpenter. I could be misremembering. Oh, John that. Carpenter. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But I, no, but oh, I'm, you're right. I'm it does say that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we'll have to watch that. Uh, and if y'all have ever watched John Carpenter movies, you know he, he, yes. he he's yes at these horror escapes. Well, I got to get off. Yeah, uh, nobody, yeah. nobody, drink your tap water. Uh, the the earth is flat, and uh, you know, I, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. No, no one, no one said um, any of that at all. I'm Justin. saying it right now, and I'm not afraid. To Why? Say it because that's what I'm saying. Okay, if I, you say I'm, so. I'm, if I had a whistle, I'd fucking blow it, but I don't got one. Good night, everybody. We're good. Yeah, We're okay. Good. We're good. Justin's going home. No, he I'm gonna, is home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink there. tap water. I'm gonna go drink a bunch I just of have to go upstairs to my room yeah. and then I get to go into bed and sleep. I stop, I play the piano, I cry, and then I go to sleep. Same. That's that's the rest. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right. And I keep anyway, the like, just, oh Justin, God, do you guys. have anything? Do you have anything coming up besides what you're doing with Heidi Emmys? Yeah, yeah. I just, which... uh, space propaganda, that's about it. We're going to okay. do a live right, stream well, about uh, this awesome show that's come out called uh, yeah. Fallout. That's what they say. Fallout. You can yes, trust we're we're going to work that out. Uh, and my, myself and Meeks, we will also be covering Fallout mm -hmm. on my channel. And we'll definitely be uh, send, sending a Raven over to Heidi and Justin. Yay. Come hang with us on a couple of those things. Uh, so, yes. I have a feeling we'll this, is just a, this is just a hunch. And I, I do kind of agree with Justin about them dumping everything at at once but i have a feeling i'm probably going to watch the whole thing this weekend because oh, yeah. i don't i don't same. know if I can, i'm going to be able to stop myself same yeah i i've all i me, me and meeks actually last night like when not not streamed or anything but we watched like episodes one two three and we were texting each other back and forth Aww. while we were watching it so yeah I feel like I I'm like I look like I'm on I, streams, okay. Is this just me, or does it look like I'm on Taranaga's uh, horse? <laughs> like if I can position myself correctly, I'm actually look like I'm sitting on his horse. You're Do missing the helmet. I don't have the yeah. You're wearing it. Yep. I, I suppose if it was a casual ride, that would yeah, be. It's a casual ride. I'm just doing some. You know, you're missing. I'm you're doing missing some... the the katana and the wagasaki on your side maybe i'm just doing some uh, falconing <laughs> or or you're just you're just a part a, a part of the the folks that follow along. yeah yeah like oh J justin's gonna play us a song going out justin's playing us off you know, th this is the equivalent of y'all remember the david Chappelle show where where you know they, they had to wrap it up this, this is just i'm a horse to wrap it up yeah, here I just have to position myself in a way so that I'm. You are like a horsewoman. Which I'm a horse. I must say, well, it's funny because we were watching. Um, uh, what is it Lion Witch in the Wardrobe? And we're like, what is that? Is that a Minotaur? Is that a the Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe? Yes, those are Minotaurs. Yeah. A Minotaurus, yes. Mm -hmm. That that is another series. If if you if you like those type of fantasy series i would yeah, love to get just, into it i just love watched it with the kids th it was things like so that good. Yes. That's, that's we're gonna awesome. go back and watch the prince and prince caspian have please. you watched the original bbc versions no we were just watching like the feature film there's a bbc version yes oh okay we'll, we'll talk about that off stream okay all right, right. okay so good night y'all Th thanks for hanging with us bye we appreciate justin but please come, please come check uh, me and Meeks out next week, uh, Monday. We're going to be jumping mm -hmm. back into some more Shogun. And, and we're going to let uh, you know, well. 
and anyway, yeah, and we'll do uh yeah, yeah, we'll a be starting to call out soon too. And we'll try and yes. get Tony to come and do a season finale of Shogun. Facts. All right. Let's okay, we'll let Justin yeah, play us out. Tanya. Justin's gonna play us out. Play us out, Justin. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> that was really yeah, nice. See y'all next, next week, fam. So pretty. Everyone All right. Have a safe weekend. Okay. Bye, everybody. Take care now.